Okay, we should be live. Remember your scripts. <laughs> hey guys, we're Critical Role. I mean, <laughs> no, you got the wrong God. one. A couple seconds in, you're already messing up. Uh, all right. I, yeah, I think we're live. <laughs> <laughs> I like how the title reflects what, reflects what Peter thinks. Literally. <laughs> yes. I, I was thinking like, what should I even put for the title? And I went, just go with what you're feeling. I, yeah. <sighs> Alright. And... Oh, by the way, Gia, we're live! We're live! Thanks. That doesn't sound like Korean to me. <laughs> yeah, she doesn't practice <laughs> Korean with me for, for this. She does it with uh, somebody else. Hmm. Alright. And we are now fully live. Yay. Woo. Okay. <clears throat> now, before I do a recap... Oh, shit. Welcome back, everybody, to Question Rule Models. <laughs> Man, you can tell I am really fucking out of it right now. Uh, I will be your dungeon master for today and for the foreseeable future. Uh, Parky Park, Young, Peter, whatever these guys call me. It works. Either way, um, before we get started with the introductions... Uh, or the recap of where we last left off, let's go do some character introductions. Duke, <coughs> since you're to my right on the stream, can you please describe to me who, uh, who and what you're playing? You could be as descriptive as you want, and then everyone else has to follow up on that, basically. Alright, setting the precedence. I'm Agronac. All right, next guy. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> uh, I play Agron. Uh, my name is Duke. Um, I play Agronac Scarfist. He is a half orc, half 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 orc, half Goliath. Um, humanoid. He stands about seven feet tall. He is a boxer, which is a subclass of the homebrew class pugilist. Mm -hmm. uh, so he punch and he punch and he counter and he punch. Um, he is not the brightest of the bunch. I mean, he knows some things. He doesn't have the most sense. Um, so some things will go right over his head, but he's a good-hearted man. So, um, And without going into too much of a recap, last session it was learned that Agronac is a part of a certain group that... Um, that apparently the best name. Yeah, apparently attacked these guys, you know, before. So, hey, thank you for cheering. Um, for my tie. All right, next we have Tristan. Hi, I'm Tristan. I am, my throat's a little sore today, so I will be coughing along the sides. I'm sorry about that. Um, my character is called Michelle Elderan. Uh, he's a tiefling. College of the Swords Bard, so slashes and cast spells. Um, last session, he got told of a lot of news. His father is imprisonment. Is imprisonment. Uh, which is weird because you actually do. I do want to point out, which is weird because you actually know the normal imprisonment in CRA is where people get stuck into a dimension where. You, it's just fog and you kind of slowly go insane. So the fact that he's not in that kind of imprisonment should be a bit alarming to a certain degree. But go on, sorry. Um, Michelle's very distraught over this. He's uh, felt a little cast out, um, slightly depressed. Um, yeah, and we're going to see where that takes him in this episode. Okay. Uh, next we have Dylan. I'm Zandori Valur, uh, Water Ganassi Order Domain Cleric of Helm. Uh, currently, I have condemned Michelle and his father to death 
but he doesn't know that. <laughs> and Oscar is my two and one leader. <laughs> All right, is that it? Okay. Yeah. Next we have Robert. Alrighty. Uh, hello, I'm Robert. I'm playing Oscar Iron Fist. He's a dwarven battle rager, sla uh, barbarian slash pact of the chain warlock. And he's got a ton of scars and a prosthetic metal jaw and beard. And uh, he is pretty... Uh, Scary. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he's pretty unsure of what to do with um, Michelle's father, because you can't really punch out the law of that entire city. No, you cannot. Unfortunately, strength <laughs> and try. Strength sure try. and physical might can only fix so much. That just means I need a 40 strength score. <laughs> <laughs> at, at that point, you'll be punching holes in the fabric of reality. So I guess you could punch holes through political reality. Yeah. <laughs> That's what you need, a 40 strength to, to literally beat po of politics into place. <laughs> Perfect. All right. Um, okay. So, as a recap, last time you all left, you all left off, you, were, you guys were in a bit of a bind, actually. Um, on one hand, you all have t uh, are actually trying to make your way to... Uh, Masur uh, the city of Masurial, the dwarven capital, uh, not dwarven, uh, gnomish capital, uh, where the m richest of the rich individuals reside and kind of run the city as they are having an auction and you are invited by one of the creators, one of the richest individuals, to join her at her table uh, for this event, uh, for this gala, auction, and a show. Um, and that's only maybe 20 days ago, uh, away at most. Uh, and travel time, you guys not knowing that, uh, I mean, knowing that there's no teleportation circle, you know there, you will actually have to get there somehow. Um, on the other hand, you guys are now on your, uh, have made your way after meeting Agronac Scarfist uh, recently and him kind of tagging along uh made your way to the city of sierra because michelle kind of remembered something from his past and that led you guys back here to a uh to the city however the teleportation circle didn't work properly as the fuzzy memory made it close enough but threw you guys off course and thus leading you guys into the the Strosso Yard of the city where, well, you, a, a elf of some sort should be leading you guys or should be guiding you guys in this part. Um, luckily, without getting too much attention, um, you all made your way to Michelle's place and found that it was abandoned. Um, things were covered up. Uh, a lot of furniture missing uh almost none of the possessions actually fully here um and the house itself and whatever was left over was being taken care of by michelle's old friend and personal previous personal guard avalyn tillo uh she then told michelle of the situation that his father was in um and looked extremely sad and kind of depressed however just happy that she was able to meet michelle uh using the last bits of her connection michelle you were actually able to meet your father who gave you some information of why he's kind of there but left uh which had to do with him apparently concealing the fact that you were a tiefling all along um but he did confirm that he is actually your father and he was apologetic for the fact that he couldn't uh that he did this he tried to he didn't mention as many information as as much information as you thought and he said they're keeping him there because they need you know something in here um 
Otherwise, your stepmother and your stepbrother and sister have been sent to the city of Masurial. And when you left this kind of place and went back to join the rest of your uh, your group back in the outer part of the city in Lydro, I believe it's the uh, the Greasy Bow is where you guys are staying. <coughs> Um, you all met up where, and then Michelle kind of took the form of Victor uh, and started to imitate him. And I, I believe this is where we're picking back up. Where it's, uh, the sun is starting to set, I think. And everyone else is going about their, um, going about their day. You guys, uh, the rest of you guys are inside the tavern. You can see that there's plenty of individuals in uh, in this tavern. Oh, god damn it, just make that mess. Um, plenty of people inside the tavern drinking, uh, enjoying themselves and having fun while um, you guys are kind of waiting on Michelle, but Michelle is outside. So this is where you guys can take it away from. So, uh, Oscar, yeah. uh, where are we going when they get back from beating each other since? Well, well, I mean, if we're not able to do anything for Misha's father, uh, gosh, I mean, it's that item auction. That's what, like, what, 20 days or something now from now? So do we have time to go to that forest thing? I mean, I have no idea, but... I mean, I, that's the only thing I can think of that we could maybe try and get a ton of money from, because we're not gonna we're not gonna be able to bid on something if we just work a normal job or something for a week. Yeah. Yeah. So, if she get horses, head straight there then. I guess save some time. I, I think so. All right. Well, I guess we gotta wait till Michelle gets back because I don't have sending to message him. Hmm. Agrene. Yeah. You, uh. You ever kill something real big? Yeah. Oh, do yeah, tell. Yeah, I have. Oh, uh, <laughs> I don't mean to brag, but I sort of banished a purple worm before. Nice. You, you ever been inside you, one? You can cast spells. I have. Ooh. Well, it wasn't, uh really me i just helped um so we killed that nice. we killed a neolith before what the hell's a new what's yeah, so you, sad you know it's it, it's it's one of those underdark snake thingies but it's huge <laughs> it took some of its teeth he brand he, he sort of you know pulls at his neolithic necklace um mm. you know about finding Misha's dad. We were in the Underdark to find Jin's dad. And we found him. Oh, okay. Is I can't imagine this prison of his isn't that bad. Yeah. I mean, he, he is a rich guy, or at least he was, so maybe it's a little easier for him. No, I, I just gotta say, uh, Agronach, sorry. Both you and Oscar killed a war. I mean, that's pretty special. You guys have a lot in common. Not many people can say that. Worm killers. Worm killers. Uh, at this <laughs> point, you could see Victor kind of stomping in, all upset and annoyed at Michelle, mimicking him outside and saying that he's actually Victor Cannon. Uh, and he just kind of like sits down, hunches over with a kind of scowl on his face. You, uh, Michelle or Victor? I'm Victor. I'm Victor. Okay. You got it, Victor. Okay, Victor. <sighs> anyway, Anyways, Michelle. Victor, like, draws his rapier and it says action, and then you can see it glowing. I'm Victor, and then kind of puts it away. How do we know Michelle didn't just steal that sword from you? Michelle walks in looking like Michelle. <laughs> see? I'm Victor. <laughs> 
Right. He is Victor. So, um, are we all agreeing that we're heading to that weird forest next for the auction? That's yeah, the thing. So. That's just north of Mysterial, right? A couple days journey. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Okay. Um, I mean, if you have nothing else planned, sounds good to me. Okay. Probably best. Probably best to head back to Telbar and then get horses there. Oh, you yeah, be okay much... with your father, the still in prison, doing this? There's not much we can do about that. Yep, nothing at all. Let's just uh, <laughs> just we should probably go. Can we do? Do you have enough spell components today? Or... I have enough. To... Oh my God, Michelle! Sorry, you're breaking um, down. Sorry, I got a bug stuck in my throat. Um, I have enough to get us back there, but I'm getting to pick some up soon. Okay, mm -hmm. then we should head back, grab more components, and then uh, go find some more. Sounds good. Uh, should okay. we see if we can get any components here, or just uh, wait till we get back in Talbar? Do we want to waste any more time here? I'm not gonna lie, guys. I think these elves might be a little racist. They might charge you more. You got a good point. Elves yeah. are terrible, terrible you guys, people. You guys can yeah, give true. me a history check about the city, and Michelle, you would already know this, uh, but okay. so I'm not gonna ask you uh, ask one from you. But they're just are terribly you sure about that? awful, <laughs> racist people. Agronite, you can't make a check, by the way. Well, oh, no, oh. like, like I, okay, so, from what you can tell, imagine my old character sending a message to him, telling about the stuff. No, uh, <laughs> Matt. Okay, so, in, your history check is more like it, just you looking around and realizing uh, that the Strossel Yard, the place where you went to see Michelle's like manor and stuff like that, the Elderan Manor. Um, that area, yes, there was almost no other individuals, no other kinds of races there other than elven individuals. However, the place you guys are in right now, Lied Row, which is a large, the larger portion of the city, actually, um, there's plenty of different kinds of people, even many different kinds of beast folks walking around, too. Um, so keep that in mind. I don't know, guys. Uh, it didn't seem to be a lot of non-elves back where we came in. No, not many can yeah. actually get into the yard. Yeah, um, I should probably just go. Yeah. You guys, Alrighty. done drinking? By the way, um, I want to say that, Oscar, you would recognize that Strosso is actually a dwarven word. Um, oh, okay. It's, I believe... Uh, it means strudel. Or kin. It's a word for kin. Okay. Yeah, which is interesting because most of it, it's kind of like why, but it also kind of works. You know, you don't mm -hmm. see dwarves there, but yeah, they're just appropriating dwarven culture. It's you know, elves and dwarves go back. Yeah. Yeah, but I mean, they they should have some dwarves up there at least. I mean, they're it's a freaking dwarvish word. I mean. I feel like a lot of the royals would be allowed in. I don't see why not. Mm. They still seem kind of racist. That goes for dwarves as well. Anywho, uh, mm. should we get going? <laughs> yeah, let's yeah. move. Okay. Let's get our head outside the city, and then I'll be casting uh, Teleportation Circle back. If anyone doesn't Dalbar. finish their drinks, I'm drinking them at the table before we leave. Okay. I, I did want to say, uh, Tristan, I, before I forget, you yeah. did, uh, your, your father did tell you something interesting, a, a place and a time mm -hmm. to meet your I mother. I got that. So, uh, which is actually like close to two months away. Um, all right. So after you guys finish up your drinks and such like that, the sun, the sun has set. As you guys are about to leave, it, it is getting dark. Where are you guys going? Back to Talbar. Okay. How and where? Teleportation circle. Just in the middle of the street. I, I said we walked outside the city. Okay. So you guys... Okay. So when you walked outside of uh, the city walls in Lydero, 
Uh, you can see the road that leads clearly to Port Siena, um, and it's it's marked. It's one of the roads that leads to a main port that is technically part of the city, but far enough away that you actually have to. It takes about an hour to walk there, um, but. You guys kind of find a, a spot outside the road, off the road, and Michelle, you start drawing on a large mm -hmm. rock that you guys have found, this teleportation circle with your magical chalk, to draw the circle, cast a spell, as the, the air itself ripples open, you guys all kind of rush on through, um, mm -hmm. Boone, Rowan, and Victor all following suit. And as you guys run in on the other side, your, you know, um, your lungs kind of filling back up with the air. It's, uh, it feels a bit colder, you know, here as you guys are in the dark kind of basement, uh, broom closet, uh, or broom shed, I guess, um, with a few boxes strewn about. As you guys exit, you guys are right next to the Lost and Found. Yep. All right. Uh, okay. So, point of order, grab supplies we need, your components, my components, then head to get horse. Yeah, I'm going to, before we head off to, I'm going to hit up that uh, potion dealer me and uh, Michelle met. He sounded like he might know if there's something useful to gather while we're in the forest. That wouldn't be a bad idea to ask. Do we know, uh, can we get cheap horses if we use the lost and found name in this city? Oh, are one you guys asking me? Out, I'm asking the part owner. Um, I... I don't see why not. It sounds like, just say... I don't see why not either. Just put it underneath lost and found's name. Yeah, Bill, Bill them for all of her things. <laughs> yeah. Put it on the company's bag. tab. S say yeah. it's for adventuring. I mean, we technically are literally going adventuring in a ruin-filled forest. Does that mean we have to share our profits with them? We just don't talk about that. We say that we got yeah. the horses for You're the, the part owner, found. though. Is that not... We just don't talk about this. <laughs> Alright, well, let's see if it works. Uh, I'll go and find the... Do you know where the closest horse stable is? Nope. Right, I'll go ask around. Later, bitches. Okay, so good we, luck, Zan. We could skip forward this part if you guys want. Uh, Up to you. Well, because you know it's just getting some horses and stuff like that. I'll I would like to persuade them for cheap horses. Okay. Uh, are you getting a horse per individual, or are you trying to get like, um, like a? Did you horse guys want carts? And... Did you guys want like a cart or two, or did you want individual horses? I mean, I Boone has his to... own horse. I have my own horse. Car can fit like six people comfortably inside, and then maybe like you know one or two people up top. So I think we wanted a cart in case we found anything big, so that way we could carry it. Okay, and we'll get we'll get a cart then. I, I'm gonna need a loan because I have no money on me. Anybody? Mm, I'll grab the group gold. How much do you need? Uh, you're I'll muted. Give you... I'll give you a hundred. Wait, you're, you're muted, Dylan, for the last bit. Sounds Don't worry, good. I read sad <laughs> sign language. Okay. <laughs> um, one second. Okay, um, so, uh, Zan, you go to the nearest stables where, you know, they have places where you can get such things. You learn that the average price of ores anywhere from 75 to or yeah about 75 to 500 gold pieces per horse um the cart itself if it's like a carriage you know maybe 100 gold maybe if it's like an open cart 15 gold if it's like a chariot close to 300 <laughs> okay uh we're looking and, for like an open cart uh, okay, so the um, they said they could give you one like an open card in the back with like a little you know covering and stuff like that um, for about forty gold. Does that come with a horse? 
Oh, uh, no. Okay. Well, I can give you a down payment of 100 gold, and you can charge the rest to my Lost and Found guild, if that's possible. How, how many people are you, uh, are you trying to take on the cart? I mean, if you're going to just... If you're traveling slowly, one or two horses, you know, one horse will do. But if you're trying to get there a little faster, and you have plenty of people riding in it in the back, then... I have about, I have about three to four people in the cart. No one should do. Okay, that sounds good. So 40 goals for the cart, and anything else? Uh, and you're looking for a horse? To, pull, pull, to pull the it. cart, yeah. Um, well... And for that, you could probably pay about a hundred gold for a decent horse that looks, you know, young, doesn't look sick. Okay, I can I can give you a hundred gold now, and you can charge the rest to Lost. Do you have like an insignia or anything that you guys have? I mean, I, uh, I've not... seen Lost and Found, and I've actually made. I can give you the name of both owners, if that works. How about here? And uh, he kind of produces a parchment and, you know, uh, writes out, like, something a little quick as, like, an IOU, you know? Uh, and you, he's like, you could sign right here. And if anything, I can get the money from them later. Sounds good. Okay, so my literate self is just going to draw a squiggle. Because I've seen people draw signatures before. Okay. Uh, can you give me a quick... Uh... Slide a hand. No, I, I'm going to say it's a persuasion. <laughs> <laughs> he, he looks at it and he's like, Interesting signature. Thank you. What does that say? Uh, it's... It's, uh... It's an Aquin. It's like an old family name. Oh, uh, give me a deception check with advantage because you're persuasion. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, I, I see. Oh, well, it's act, it looks, old money. looks pretty interesting. Oh yes, yes. It, take, it goes quite back, you know. But yeah, I'm not gonna bore you with the story. But I'll just take the cart and you go. <laughs> and you, yeah, you you take the cart, you take the horse, and. Uh, you know, you make your way back to Lost and Found. All right, so who's going to the uh, to the apothecary in Tavar? Uh, I believe Oscar. it's a little pestle. I'd like to join Oscar because you know we're friends now. Because <laughs> yeah. we punch things. Okay. Scar Bros. Scar Brothers. All right. <laughs> um, as you you guys make your way to the little pestle. Where inside, uh, you can see it's it's late, by the way, because it's, it's still on the same time zone, but it's still open. Uh, many of the shops have closed, and Zan, when you got to the uh, the stables, you kind of had to, like, you know, get the guy out here, because, you know, to, to make this transaction happen. Um, and what was the name of the shop again? The Lil Pestle. The Lil it's like little, little but like, abbreviated yeah okay and the when you guys open the door the place is dimly lit and behind the counter you can see kind of humming along uh facing partially away from like the door uh you know he could you could see somebody kind of uh, on the mortar uh like pestle and mortaring something up in behind the counter. It's actually the male copper dragonborn that you got it, Oscar, you have dealt with before. Um, and we never even got his name. <laughs> nope, that's why I didn't say his name. Uh, <laughs> as uh, he hears the bell kind of ding when you guys open the door, um, he, you know, kind of looks over and he's like, Did you bring hey there? Did you bring me something interesting again? Uh, more like the possibility of interesting things in the future. We're heading to uh, this ancient forest near Masurial, and we're wondering if you might know of anything to keep an eye out for. I mean, I mean, if you're looking at dragons, then scales, teeth, eyes, I mean, anything off a dragon. If you're looking at, ooh, well, 
skin, poisonous sacks, um, scales of sorts, nails, eyeballs, if you could get them and not destroy them uh, with your big Well, fingers. I mean, we could just bring back the head and pop them out here. Oh, but it'll rot. I mean, uh, it's going to take a couple days, to, a week to get there, probably, right? Oh, we, we've got a friend with a magic circle, so he can pop us back here and look at these split. Oh, well then, yeah, bring the head. Um, why are you headed all the way over there? No, we're we're hoping to. And who's this guy? Get a fortune. He, no, kinda, this he is like Agronach. finally kind of notices Agronak, even though Agronak's <laughs> the biggest one in the room. <laughs> <The> fucking giant. <laughs> yeah. This is Agronak. Right. He's he's a badass. Agronak He's gonna help us punch a dragon. So he he's gonna pull out. He's gonna he's gonna reach out his hand for a handshake. He's a traditional kind of guy. He kind of like puts his hand out, but not like in a handshake fashion like this. Like dainty. Yeah. I'm gonna take it and shake it anyway. <laughs> you uh collect weird stuff like this. Uh, uh, you mean you mean useful stuff like this, very useful stuff like this. Yeah, I mean, pardon me. and he, he's kind of like get eyeing, useful things. He's kind of eyeing you, Agonak. He, you don't think he could use some uh, neolithic teeth, do you? I mean, that's what I was looking at. Where he's gonna get that? <laughs> undo his necklace. Uh, well. We killed one a while back, and uh, me and a friend decided we wanted to make a necklace out of it. What do you use this stuff for? Potions. He's going to hand it over to him and let him look at it. Kind of looks at Oscar. He's like, he's a, he's with you, right? Yeah. Yeah, so we, we found him, and he's okay. Right? Oh, oh yeah, yeah. He, he was very... telling us about. Uh, okay. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh. Apparently, he has some underground connections. Oh. Oh. You need underground stuff? I've been there before. Well, I, I think he, I think he means the other underground Agronac, not the, not the one literally under the ground. Agronac, you put, oh. taking your necklace off, right, and put it on the counter. I, I've, I've handed it over to him. He's like, he's like, well, I could definitely use these. And what do you think you can give me for it? I could probably give you a good. Kind of looks down and looks at you, looks down, looks at you. Give me a second. I need to make a roll. <laughs> <laughs> Good hundred. Hundred gold. Uh, oh, don't be like that. Don't be like that. I mean, you're Oscar's friend, you know. I mean, this guy does pay us, and I pay well. You could ask him. I you, won't get deals. you won't get deals like this anywhere else. I mean, yes, Neil and the teeth are rare, but. Ugh, who would buy such things? I can. You had a point there, bud. I can buy it off you for a good hefty hundred gold. But uh, by next time, I might not need it as much. Uh, well, it's up to you, Agronak. This is this is all you have, right? Yeah, that's all I'm willing to with oh so you have more i have a smaller one but i'm waiting to give that back to my friend it's not really mine oh uh, and you're not in a hundred gold a hundred gold sounds all right to me all right we have a deal as uh he you know starts to gather some gold up from the bottom counts it out and then hands it over to you takes the necklace off of you, Agronac. Uh, he's like, and yes, getting back to you, Oscar. Mm. Yeah. So, 
looking mostly for eyeballs and glands and skin and bits. Yeah, car carve him off. Preserve him if you're gonna take the time. Rotting things, not the best. If you have blood, a thing. Rare magical creatures, monsters. I'll take those two. So, I mean, should we just, like, decapitate something and put it in a wagon and magic ourselves back here, or... Because, I mean, it sounds like we can use everything in those things, whatever we kill. Usually you can. But... But the fresher, the better. Okay, then. Well, hey, Agronac, how you feel about uh, killing something giant and selling it for tons of money? <laughs> Let's do it. Yeah. Now, you said you're all headed to somewhere north of Masurio? Yeah, this this ancient forest. We've heard there's lots the, of old ruins there. The emerald jewel uh, of all of nature. That's where you're headed. I guess. You're going into that dense, dense, dangerous Dense, dangerous place. You said dangerous twice, so yes, that's where we're going. Now, if you happen, if you happen, let's just say, to, to come across some uh, things that I've heard. Trees with eyes. Eyes? Mm -hmm. Maybe some teeth. Uh, snake-like individuals with arms or legs. You wouldn't mind bringing me some. I mean, sure. M more to collect, of course. I'm. I mean. No, no. You I've, pay us, we'll bring them. I've heard rumors. I've heard some rumors, and uh, since you all are so capable, I mean, you'll come back. Yeah, definitely. With. For your good friend, right? Oh, yep. Yeah, no, he, he's trying to set up everything so we can head off lickety-split. Well, fantastic. You know, you want speaking to... of good friends, uh, I usually have a name I call some of them. Uh, what can I call you? Well, oh, I, you're right. I've been calling you Potion Guy in my head. Well, my friends, you can all call me Urokas. 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 Or just Kaz, if you are such good friends. Yeah, I'm alright with that, Kaz. Alrighty. Well, Kaz, we'll be sure to bring you literally everything we think worth is worth any money. We're looking forward to it. I can make some great things with your help how's that course. uh also how's that potion of giant growth you started brewing uh, a couple days ago going uh, i mean it's still going to take five four to five days left you gotta wait for the right conditions with these or else you know when you drink it if you don't brew it properly i heard it could actually sap your strength now we don't want that oh that's lame exactly very lame. Not worth it. Why would you want to do such a thing? So, I mean, it could be fun trying to fight something when you can barely move your arms. Yeah. yeah. Maybe later. Yeah, I'm sure that's the case. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, so, you guys basically got to deal with Urokas to bring back anything. Uh, you know, skin, glands, poisons, eyeballs, whatever. Well, that just means we have to punch something unconscious and bring it back alive so it's fresh. <laughs> hey, depends on however you guys want to do it. Um, all right. So, when you guys all make it back to uh, Lost and Found, it's pretty late. Um, it's, what are you guys all doing? Sorry. I still need to pick up teleportation circle stuff. Okay. Uh, I'll so you up two uses. Two uses. Um, each one costs about fifty, right? You're gonna be spending like seventy per. Seventy per. Yeah. Okay. Instead of fifty, so keep that in mind. Um, Sounds good. 
All right. And uh, okay. one, anything else? Well, everyone all set to get out bright and early tomorrow and yeah, get there as fast the, as we can. I got the horse and the cart. I tied them up outside. Boone's, uh, Boone says he's got little Jimmy ready. Okay. <laughs> Shelly, you got your you got horse? horse thing. I got a single horse and a cart, yeah. Do you think a single horse is enough? That's all we can afford. Would you like me to give you more money? Because I don't think a horse is going to be able to pull, you know, you and your heavy armor. Turn to Aggie, him. I turn to Oscar, you and your heavy armor. Uh, you guys are quite heavy. I mean, I really... <sighs> Just give me the gold. Yeah. How I mean, much like you a, need? Another hundred gold. I had to bargain for the cart and the horse. Oh god, okay. Here you go. Thank you. So, you go and get another horse? As I as I leave Lost and Found, I put 25 of that gold into my alms box. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Uh, that was the group gold. <laughs> that was God's gold. <laughs> Zen, you make your way back to the stables. Uh, it's really late at night, uh, and but... You managed to get the guy to give you that deal where you have basically purchased another horse. Thank you. Okay. All right. I got us another horse. There we go. Awesome. This is Benson and this is Butterscotch. Benson and Butterscotch. I won't remember those names. Okay. If they survive, we'll try to remember them later. Okay. So, with your horses in tow, uh, with your cart ready, and uh, you guys resting at, um, are you guys resting at Lost and Found for the night, or are you guys just heading out? I'm going to be resting for the night, and then okay. picking up the plat rings in the morning. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna, so I can change my spells. Uh, <sighs> Alright guys, I'll see you in the morning. Agronac yeah. takes his place. Underneath one of the dining room tables. Aggie, do you want an actual bed? Oh, you guys have that. Yeah, like. Yeah, they're and just I, down I point the hall. to like I point to behind me down the hall. There's rooms on the left. There's like three or four of them. Pick whichever one you want. Oh. Okay. Just painfully gets himself up from underneath the table and uh, makes his way to our room. Okay. Huh. Um, all right, so the next, uh, you guys all go to sleep, rest for the night, the next day comes, you guys are, I believe it's now the 9th? Well, uh, no, 10th. 19. So towards, it's 10th. Till the auction. Well, it was, it, it was a rough estimate of 20 days, but, so I think it's the 10th of Gosha, or it's 11th, but I'll get, I'll get that right. It's 10th. I just feel like we have a little persona date countdown going on <laughs> with all this uh, auction coming up. Uh, all right. So on the next day, as you guys wake up, you guys grab your supplies, uh, jump onto the cart. Uh, Boone gets on his cart, and you guys start making your way where? And who is leading the group? I'm guessing to Masorio, right? Did I pick up my rings? Uh, yes, you picked up your rings. Okay. Everybody gets a platinum ring. Yep. What are they for? Like, Spells. They're shiny. Just put them on. Just shove them on your finger. Okay. <laughs> it barely fitted around a black, swollen, half-broken knuckle. Perfect. It'll keep your knuckle together. <laughs> Alright, Michelle. I think yeah. you know the way better than most of us. Okay. Um I'll I'll take I'll take lead. Yeah. I'll use my flying to help me. Okay. So, you know, you kind of fly, you get your bearings of east west northwest north south east west down and you, knowing that you guys should head east. You guys all kind of uh Point the car east on the uh, road that heads east and start making your way. Um, yeah. As the car is being taken, the 
How fast are you guys traveling? So it's a couple days away? More than a couple um, days. Um, it's probably medium speed. I really, I really don't know how f how long it's gonna take us, but oh I can't, I can't imagine it taking more than the twenty days needed. Um, oh, it's probably go faster than a walk, but yeah. not much. Okay, we do a slow pace then. Slow pace. Oh, because what? Uh... Well, how long do you think it would take us if we just rode as fast as fast as we could without hurting horses? We're also planning to grab money before we head to the auction, right? Oh, hopefully. Yeah. So it's probably best not to go at a slow pace. Yeah. Okay, then. We can just go the medium travel pace then. Not I mean, get too exhausted I mean, on the way there. If, a, if you've start. got magic Sorry? spells, Zan, could you maybe like invigorate the horses or something? I can do that. Uh, I mean, I can heal them and stuff, but I can't, like, unexhaust them. I can invigorate them with uh, better pulling. Hmm. Better oh. pulling. <laughs> but I guess I didn't take that spell this morning, though, so. Yeah, let's. Fuck it, let's go to fast pace, fast as we can. Yeah, just okay. fast as we can. I'll be using all my spell slots to enhance ability strength, which doubles their carrying capacity. Okay. Um, and you cast that on both your new horses and even Boone's horse, right? Uh, one, two, three, four. I'm just seeing how many times I can do it. I can do it eight times, so eight hours uh, for two of them, and then... Well, uh, average travel yeah. day is eight hours. Okay, you now guys, that works out. You know, when you guys, if you guys yeah. think about it, if you guys have, have you guys ever walked for more than eight hours straight anywhere? Nope. <laughs> exactly. D&D <laughs> players. It, exactly. It, it's, it's, you're gonna, if you travel eight hours of walking, you're gonna be exhausted. And you guys are gonna want to rest, you know, kind of get your bearings, set up camp, and then sleep. So traveling eight hours a day is not fun. So, with horses, and you guys are trying to go as fast as you can. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, just let me know when you want to stop. First day, you guys leave Talbar, and with a, before your whole eight hours is up, you guys can see along this road, um, where this road kind of goes by, you can see where the, the road splits. On the left, there is a massive town. Uh, tall spires and buildings um, and with the direction on the road the sign says this is um, shit this is Udoroche north from where you guys are headed um, okay if you guys are wondering that's actually uh, magic the yep yeah. It's the the town. It, it's like a place for wizards to study, to learn, you know, that kind of stuff. College of Winterhold. <laughs> no, <laughs> uh, but it, it's it's basically for the uh, people that live more north, uh, especially those that uh, are citizens of Talbar, that area. They come here to study their magic. Like Michelle, you're. Mm -hmm. You know, more familiar with the one that you, you know, in, where is it called? In Sierra. Um, but this is the other one. Yeah. Um, and by the time the day comes to an end, you guys come to a stop right there. And, yeah. Alrighty. Well, do we want to push on through the night or keep, uh, take a... These horses look quite exhausted. I think yeah. it's. Hey, you yeah, guys aren't as rocks. tired, but it's just boring. Remember that. <laughs> Go fish. Just arm wrestle Agronac for eight hours. <laughs> okay, give me. I'm some. down. Yeah. All right. So we could do this pretty quickly because you guys are level ten, so I can't really toss anything at you along the road. It's like. What are some fucking thugs gonna do? 
Like, even if they catch you, like, you guys all have to get, like, natural ones and completely botch it for them to not, you know. Catch me, they can catch these hands. <laughs> so many of us yeah. are actually pretty strong if we're completely naked and surprised. <laughs> you can just take bets on how many people each of you knock out. It's like a competition. <laughs> we're looking for bandits. Four? Okay, I'm gonna say two Oscar, two Aggie. Let's see. Uh, I'm gonna <laughs> go three on Oscar, two on Aggie. Okay, so... <laughs> uh, 13th, and then... Give me a second while I start... Continue to calculate how, how much it takes. Hey look, we're gonna go through Masoro. Do you wanna say hi to anyone? San? Uh... No... No... No. <laughs> okay. They're gonna ask me questions like, "How are you doing? Have you met anyone? What do you study?" Nah. Did you complete your quest yet? Is God happy with you? Nah. I, I mean, on the bright side, you've been filling up that alms box, so. Yeah, I know, but like, no matter what I bring, I'm still gonna get that's it. That's all you get. Do you actually ever look inside the box, or? You do you just put stuff in it? Oh no, every night I, I take a count. What are you at at the moment? Why? What do you want to know? Uh, why I'm just wondering how know? good you are at uh, being a religious figure. I got like, I got that jewel I got a while back. Oh yeah, that's quite a bit. About yeah. eight copper pieces. Uh, uh, Some of them mine. One silver. Yeah, you know, not too bad. Okay. Almost 200, 200 gold. Ooh, nice. All right. Planning to pimp out your temple when you get back? Oh, yeah. We're going to get, like, new chair pads. It'll be great. Will you actually have beds this time? No, those are too expensive. <sighs> Just think if you get another 100 gold, you can get embroidered helmets and everything. Be jeweled helmets. Think about that. <laughs> A bed for jeweled helmets. I think there's a magical item called that, like Helm of Brilliance or something like that. You should get something called the Helmet of Helm. That put it just a helmet with a helmet on top. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> um. All right. So. Helmception. I do want to say, as you guys are traveling south, it's been about seven days. So on your seventh day, halfway through your travel, you've seen many like kind of. Roads branching off and stuff like that. But you see that, and you passed many different villages, and you, you passed a couple that you would have recognized around Masaro, for sure. Um, as you guys are passing uh, this area, though, you could see it's lightly wooded where the road takes you through. And this is uh, where the road kind of splits um but on one side there's almost there's no sign pointing in that direction on what's there um to your left on the right the sign there points and says it goes to masurial well we need to get anything from the city or do we just want to head straight into this forest ah uh, well we have enough supplies are we planning to bring uh, the horses into the forest? I thought that was the point. So we have the cart, and we could. Oh no, we could have. We could have your like, horse. I just feel like that's a bad idea. It's not the. By the way, the forest here isn't dense. It's light. It's like sparse. The the there's actually a road, uh, you know, like well worn road here. The road. The, the path left, it looks less worn, you know, there's a lot less travelers in that direction, obviously. And there's no sign pointing towards there. I mean, uh, who got oh. sent to the forest when they were back in Mox? It was uh, Coriel, right? Yeah. Coriel yeah. is a material. Should we see if he's there, or he know more about the forest? Oh. Also, you... the... Sorry? You guys want to? I mean, the whole point was to get in and get out as fast as possible. My one issue is that if you leave the horses in the forest and someone decides to kill our horses, then 
We just lost we're a bunch at. of horses. Yeah, but if, uh, conversely, we might need them if we're trying to drag like some big monster or some giant valuable thing. I mean, we, we could just use Victoria, right? I, I look over to Victoria. Right, Victoria? Victoria doesn't look as big as them, but she is technically stronger than them. I mean, yeah, I guess that works. We could go yeah. find some of the tie the horses up in town. Just mm -hmm. rent a stable or something for for a couple nights. Yeah. Also, right. I, don't, yeah. I don't think Boone would be too happy if uh his horse died. <laughs> Little That'd Jimmy dies whole, when he's not here. <laughs> that'd be a whole ordeal. All right, I'll sit down. Okay. Okay. Uh, when you guys get to the city of Masurio, here's one thing you would notice. Uh, what is today? It's the 17th. Ooh, okay. So not too... Not, not, okay, okay, interesting. All right. 17th. Yeah, very interesting. Okay. Um, so, can, can, uh... Can you guys tell me who's actually been to this city before? Agronac definitely hasn't. Michelle. Michelle's the only one, I believe. Yeah. Out of like the whole Boone group. Boone hasn't. Roan hasn't. Yep. It's only me. It's only you. Okay. So Michelle. Um a lot of what you can see from the hill cresting towards the coastline where Masurial lies seems familiar. However, there's one thing that's glaringly different. Before I get to that, let me describe what Masurial looks like. Masurial is known as... Uh, uh, basically like the jewel of Santepo, which Santepo is the lands here. Let me just change the music so it's befitting of Masurial. <laughs> nope, not that one. There we go. There we go. <laughs> Sorry, like there was a lot going on. All right. Okay. So, uh, as you guys are cresting over this hill where the, the tree lines are clearing, you guys can see, uh, I believe it's four different islands off the coast where this is. You can see large walls that have been built on the land side in a kind of a semicircular crescent shape and then you guys see along the coast in the water where the islands are in a semicircular fashion there are these large towers in the water um michelle last time you were here you learned that these were the walls of walls and towers of vigil that protect the city uh, on the the side the the west side with the wall uh you can see uh let's see i'll point this info out to the rest of the group yeah give me a second here uh you can see some... where the city of masurial is uh the shanty towns outside the walls stretch as far as you can see however there are many different uh tall buildings uh and what looks like a few temples and towers within the land side of this city and then you see that there's a singular bridge from this side leading into one island and that island that seems like there's a bridge connecting that island to two others and then a third one on the other side so there's technically five-ish islands. So there's... I'm getting confused by that. This is one fucky looking city, Michelle. Here. I know, it keeps on changing. <laughs> let, me, let me try to draw it up. You just see towers shooting up and going back into the water and shooting you back sure? up again. Those rations you gave me last night weren't bad. <laughs> Let me let me try to draw it out real quick. I know it might have been a little. Uh, I know I had a drawing somewhere. I just can't find it now. So there's the walls. We just see people like walking around. Their faces and bodies keep changing. The different. 
<laughs> the buildings go from like old English to like Victorian to Middle Europe. <laughs> Couple things about this town, guys. Don't use illusionary magic. They don't like that. Um, I got in trouble for that. Uh, speaking of which, uh, I'm gonna go see if I'm wanted or not. That would be nice to know. Um, okay. This is how it kind of looks. Oh god. I think it, oh, the okay. camera's flipped. Okay. But this is the so this is the land. Baseball diamond. This is the land, and then this is the islands. So there's four main islands, and then there's a group of small islands over here. Um, okay. So the first island that you guys that's closest to the shoreline is Salkir, and then Michelle, you would know that because that's where you met, you know, Hardy and Don Gigante and stuff like that. The mellow sands. Yep. Um, then there are the other islands, which the only other one that you probably reckon remember is the Summer Keys, the group of small islands farthest from shore. Uh, however, one thing stands out clearly right now. Along the southern island and in the center island, which you guys, uh, I believe some of you guys might have learned. I believe Michelle, you would probably remember because that's the one island you weren't allowed on, um, called Tills Atoll. Um, you can see smoke rising still thin. You know, like as if there's some like lingering damage left. Many buildings along the southern uh, island and even the Tills Atoll destroyed, damaged, and you know, in ruins. The that's new. Yeah. Not only that, the floating uh, kind of landmass that's above Tills Atoll that was once there. Well, uh, it's there. But it's much higher than you remember. Um, and yeah, you don't see like fires raging. You don't see what caused the large, you know, scale damage along the city. But this is, you know, what you notice. Looks like this city took a little beating. Yeah. Do you think it was a what a storm or? Something like that? I don't think it'd be storm. Wouldn't a storm wipe out the fires? Uh, you, you haven't seen uh, some bad aftermath from a storm, have you? Nope. Uh, you can, can they... get fires from them. Not How always. How does that work? Well, it's water. You, ha you get water on everything, and then some idiot lights a fire to get warm, and their house lights on fire, and every dry house nearby lights on fire. Ah. That makes sense. Houses wet. Most people aren't thrilled about having their houses wet. I would not like a wet house. <laughs> All right. That's like that's like if every second I decide to like dry you off. Would you like that? It wouldn't work though. Oh. I see how this is. No what? analogies for you. <laughs> No. So are we gonna go find your boyfriend, or what's what's going? On? Um, I mean, we should find a stable. Um, if anyone's so inclined to see if I'm wanted, that would be nice. Yeah, I'll uh, take a look. Uh, I mean, I'll go take a look. Would you be? Uh, would you be wanted as a Tieflin person still, or would be a my, elf? But my name might still be an issue. So, okay. I just right, need I'm to gonna figure head out. To town. I'm gonna find the first guard. Okay. Uh, when you head into town, you realize where guards are stationed, instead of humans, there are these mechanical constructs standing. There are far less guards than normal, but these mechanical constructs, no emotions on their face, nothing. You can see where there's jewels sitting behind where it looks like there should be eyes, uh, but their mouths doesn't seem like they talk whatsoever. Hello. Uh, can you give me a list of wanted people in the city? It doesn't respond. I don't like this. I'm gonna find a, a person. Is 
there a person here? Uh, no, well, yeah, sorry. <laughs> so there's everyone on the street. <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, there's plenty of different individuals um, along the wall, inside the walls of the Masurial, you know, of the Excuse city. Excuse me, miss? <clears throat> yes. Oh. Mm, uh, I... you mind if I ask you two questions? Um, yeah. What's, what's going on? Firstly, what the hell are those? Oh, they're, they're the the constructs the, 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 that protect the city here. Okay. I don't like them. Second, is there an actual, hey, like, don't... person guard? Uh, not, not this far away from the, uh, the aisles, you know? You, you, you might find a few, but they're more maintainers. They, they maintain these things. Um, okay. I guess this will lead to a third question. Is there like a list of people who are wanted? Uh, I'm a I'm a sort of bounty hunter, so. Oh, I, I'm mistaken. You, sorry. I, I thought you were some sort of cleric or paladin here to help well, the I city. I am. Well, not. I, I am. I'm helping the world. World police. <laughs> so you are here to help. The you know what happened here, right? I, you're, I, I don't think you're getting the vibe that I have no idea what you're talking about, so if you would explain, that'd be nice. Well, th there was that massive dragon attack. Um, oh. But it left. Uh, but people are a bit uneasy. I don't know if you could tell, but... Yeah. This is... Right. City's kind of been on... You know, unstable grounds for a while. Well, I'll take notes of that. Um, and is there a wanted board or yeah, something like yes. that? Yes, like job boards, wanted individuals. You could probably find towards the center. Uh, head head east, further into the city, and where the main bridge is, the the, uh, the bridge of the kindred, to the left, you should see a massive board of jobs and um, wanted individuals, and missing individuals especially. All right, well, thank you for your help. Would you like to donate to the church? <sighs> Sorry, I, I, I can't. I'm barely getting by on my own. <laughs> I gotcha. All right. Well, as soon as you're 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 able to afford it, I'll be back. <laughs> uh. All right. And Zan, do you head over to the bridge of the kindred by yourself? Okay. Uh, yeah. While that's going on, uh, I want to know what is everyone else doing? You guys are just I'll waiting. Be right back to trying to find like a stable or something to put the horses yep. for um, however long. Basically it's like uh, it's five copper a night per horse so it comes out to be about a silver per you know 15 copper per horse. Uh, I mean total for what you guys okay. you know you guys have three horses so it's 15 copper per night. And you guys could pay way in advance. It's fine. Just give them a couple gold and head off once Van gets back. We, I, I just need a name. So when you guys come back, you know, I don't give them all. Uh, I don't give your horses away to somebody else. Yeah, we're lost and found. Like that's that thing. Lost and oh. lost. Like lost and yep. We were found by Lostin. Okay. Do you have an individual name that I can also write down? Just need to know. Uh, Oscar Iron Fist. Done. All right. Um, how long are you leaving these boys here? Well, we're traveling into a death forest, so however long till we get back well if your payment runs out let me just say you have three days to come back if you don't then they technically belong to me already we'll give you five gold and that should be covering everything until we get back that should cover plenty and I'll just give five gold out of my own okay. money it's like a month's worth. <laughs> yep. Um, all right. Or like a week's <laughs> worth, I guess. 
less than a week worth. Uh, so, wait, no, it's uh, 15 copper. So that's 1.5 silver. So per day, divide by that's three for two days. Then. Would you like me to do the math? Oh my god, I'm dying here. 30, it's a month. <laughs> Is it a it's month? A, it's a little over the month. Holy crap. Yeah. Well, that's only 10. Because it's two, three days. 15, 15 copper a day for the three horses? Yeah. So 33.3 days. Dang, yeah, it is over a month. So, a month. Yeah, five, because uh, I was thinking you guys just paid one gold, but I was like, no, it's five gold. Holy shit. Yeah, okay. Um, Care for those horses like they're your own children. <laughs> I'll get plenty of food. Um, Mind, mind if I ask what y'all are here for? Well, while we're heading into that forest uh, up north, I'm hoping to find something terrible and valuable. I mean, you'll definitely find terrible things up there from rumors. Well, that's great, because they're also valuable. Well, that's getting off my back. If you don't return, the horse is mine, so good luck. Yep. As, uh, like I said, treat them like your own children. Uh, Zan... As you get to the bridge, you can notice that, that you do notice that there's a, a pretty large board, kind of that spans, you know, maybe 10 or 15 feet down uh, horizontally, and about five feet up for the tallest parts, which is not that tall. Um, but it has many different kind of like um, wanted posters, missing posters, job, you know, opportunities, and such like that, all plastered across it. Um, there are a few individuals that are looking, you know, seeming interested in a few of these. Um, you can see one of them kind of takes one off and then goes to a small kind of like window to the left where, uh, somebody's there to give them more information about it. I am going to head towards that window. Okay. Uh, behind the, the, you know, the small kiosk window, you can see there's a small, uh, Gnomish boy. When you say boy, you talking like ten year old? No, like... no, no, no. Like he, he looks young. He looks young, especially for, well, he just looks like a younger gnome. He's probably an adult, but definitely so still older than Zed. <laughs> but definitely inexperienced. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna wait till it's my turn in line. Mm -hmm. And I get to the window and I kind of pull off my helmet, put it down. Hey there. I got a question for you if you're willing to answer me. <laughs> uh, yeah. Well, how can I help you? You ever hear the name uh, Michelle Eldoran? Mm, who is this individual? Uh, well, from where I'm from, missing person. I'm just trying to see if like his name's on any of these walls. So you think he's a missing person? Uh, I could check. Could be, yeah. It kind of. I mean, like, like I, I'm looking for a missing person. He could be, maybe a job owner or a bounty, but I'm to me he's a missing. All right. You could just check everything for me if you can. All right. And he starts looking through it. Through it. Hmm. Uh, not a missing person. Definitely. Not a missing person. Uh, why, if I may ask? Are you looking for uh, well, I got some letters sent to my temple a while back telling me to look for them. Couldn't find them, you know, so I've been on the trail. Well, there's a, a wanted. Uh, He's wanted? Yes. For. Um. Well, I don't think you would like who this wanted posted by. Do you have a copy? Can I take a look? Uh, if you can find it, it should be on the board, but I can tell you that for here, for what I have... Yeah, yeah, go guys, right ahead, sweetheart. Um, well, uh, you can see that... Oh, Don Gigante apparently put out a hit. 
um, anyone that brings the body, head, and or alive individual of a, a tiefling and or elf named Michelle Alderan, which is weird, um, handsomely rewarded by the Don himself. I see. And who's, uh, who's Don? Oh, oh, uh, Huh. Uh, unless you're in the shady business. I'm from a Julie, so I I, I wouldn't. Uh, he's a very uh respected man in in the town. Um, he uh he he takes care of a few good folks, I could say. So he's like a church leader or something. All right. Oh, uh, not not a church leader, but a leader of sorts. Okay, good enough. Uh, I'll I'll find that poster. Thanks for helping me out. No problem. Um, if if you do take the poster, just let me know so I could I could put a get a replacement. Yeah, no problem. I'm gonna go find the poster, Pete, and mm -hmm. I'll show him I'm taking it. Okay. Um, you do notice that yes, there is a the name of uh. Don Gigante is actually on there too. Uh, like, to show that who is looking for this individual. Um, the price, it just says pays handsomely. All right. Okay. So, you bring that back to the rest of them near the outskirts of the city right now. Michelle? What the fuck did you do? What do you mean? This guy's willing to pay hams for you. <laughs> hams? Let me see this. I, I, un I unroll the poster and I. Don. Don did you Don. piss off a chef? Oh. Oh shit. Did I ever tell you guys about uh Hardy? Ah, uh, you've mentioned the name a couple times. Yeah, well, that's this. He, he used to work underneath this guy's name, and. A while ago, I remember him saying that if uh, he ever dies or gets hurt or whatever, that will be wanted. Some downlines of that. Um, I didn't actually know if he was being real or not, or if it was just like a joke, like, haha, you're gonna be wanted. No, he's actually pays handsomely, huh? Hmm. What does handsomely mean? Just... I don't know. A lot? Like, you should probably disguise yourself or something. By the way, uh, I'm guessing you guys are inside the walls of the city, but just kind of towards the wall, like not hanging around in the, the, uh, like the district slums. Area. Yeah, but like outside, like right on the outskirts of the district area, nearby, like the road or something. Okay. Yeah, probably because we hit up a stable, and it's probably near the outskirts of the city. So. Okay. Mind if I see if I can get a contact to Coriel, then we can head off? Yeah, do you have like sure? Did you prepare the spell? I don't prepare spells. What do you mean by that? I just oh, have the spells. Did you, Mr. Fancy, just having spells on his own doesn't have to pray to a higher power? I mean, I don't do that either. I just okay, know yeah, my you're spells. Special. You're like part fucking maniac, so. What is that? Okay. Have you seen hey, Coriel, you in town? I'm currently at Masurial. You don't get a reply from Coriel. Okay, so, well, I haven't got a reply from him. So he's probably not here. We should probably just head to the forest. I'm just gonna hope for the best and hope he's not dead. I'm sure he'll be fine. Maybe he was in the shower. Uh, if you really need me to, I can ask, you know, Helm tomorrow. He's still on this plane. The Michelle. I would like that. Uh, Michelle, at this point. Uh, as you guys are talking, around the corner, you see a kind of hooded individual, uh, slender in figure, kind of turn the corner of the building, face you all, and then Michelle, you see something fly very fast at you, only for it to stop about an inch from your face 
and it's a dagger that just kind of floats there and it's kind of spinning lately well look who it is the liar himself huh well, i didn't expect to see you here as who are you talking to is this a uh, hooded individual kind of stepping up you um, notice that it's a high elf she's quite tall uh her hair is short cut like in a pixie like cut uh and wears a uh, her traveling cloak looks quite heavy uh and it covers you know everything the way she's kind of keeping it held up um and you can see though when she drops her hood there's a light scar that runs from her cheek down to her neck um and she goes and she's like you don't remember no I'm, should i at least your friends i made sure i let them go after they caused such a ruckus when entering the city of sierra and your father michelle eldoran uh, i'm sorry who 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 are you just call me silkwin so michelle do you want me to drop this bitch inquisitor Silkwin and Michelle the Inquisitor, like, there we go. That that like kind of like definitely rings a bell. <laughs> Is no, the dagger I... still floating in the air? Uh, yes, in front of Michelle. No, I don't remember you, but my friends do or used to. Well, seems like you got a new set of friends. Would you like the bounty? Because that's that's not up for discussion. No, I'm not here for. Yeah. You know, your head. I'm, I'm more here just gathering information. Why are you here? Are you here to see your mom? Um. Or are you here to, you know, see why your dad isn't home? In Sierra? Zan, can you give me a reason not to tell you to drop her? You don't believe in any gods, so no. Akronax will put a hand on his shoulder and just say, it's not worth it, bud. You know, it, it's foolish not to believe in gods. Even I have someone I pray to. I never said I don't believe in them. It's just, it's not my thing. I just, I see no need to worship them. I, I 100% agree. They do exist. Zan has showed me many times. Um, <laughs> That's I, true. Yeah. I hope you're not here trying to find a way to, you know, set your dad free. I just want to say. Are, are you the one who put her put him in there? <laughs> no. By all means, I they did uh, personally. Uh, I saw to that your stepmom got here safe, so I wouldn't uh, be accusing. I see. I see. Such things. So, do you want information? What do you want to know? Or can we just go uh, and personal, not be a bother? Just a personal question. Did you know the whole time you were and kind of like gestures like horns? Like... No, no, I did not. Hmm. You know, you're lucky. If you say so. Yeah, you are very lucky. So I consider it very unlucky. Well, you're still standing here. You have friends with you, and the only one that took the blame is your dad. So I'd say you're very lucky. Can we go? <laughs> yeah, where, let's go. Are, where are yeah. you going? Um, we gotta go. We gotta that's none of your business. Oh, Away oh. from you, jerkass. I. I <laughs> I think... You tell him, Oscar. Mich Michelle, I think, you know, it's an Inquisitor's job to find information. And it's my job not to tell you that information. Well, For my own personal safety. I'm not here as a threat. If anything, I'm here sure act like one, as you I, like, flick the dagger. 
You flick the dagger. The moment you touch it, it just your finger kind of goes through it, <laughs> and you realize it's just an illusion. It's not there. <laughs> Don't you think this is a bit of a threat? It's not illegal. Not really. When she kind of like steps into it, and the illusion dissipates. When it's yeah. fake. It's still, it's, it's still a threat. I just want to point out order here that dagger was an inch in front of Michelle's face. Now the Inquisitor is an inch in front of Michelle's face. No, the tip, <laughs> the tip of the dagger was an inch in front of Michelle's face. So Your she's face definitely kissing. She's definitely stepped real close, like uncomfortably close. She, and, she's sending a lot of mixed signals here. Um, <laughs> all right, I'm just gonna squeeze between them. Okay. Uh, uh, when you so Zan, you as you uh, you know squeeze in between them, Michelle. Uh, you, you know, you had your hands back, kind of on your weapons, right? Um, yeah. you feel something on your right hand, where the, your dad, uh, you're like holding onto your rapier. Yeah. Um, and where you have your hand on the rapier's hilt, and you feel something kind of like, not tug at your hand, but like push against it. And you're the only one that recognizes anything's going on. And she's like, well, I just want to say, I hope you have a... Fantastic time. I would hide the face if you're going to stay in the town. I heard some, uh, not the... I, 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 I found out like five minutes ago. Small individual is looking for you. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, she kind of takes a step back now. I'm going to reach my hand around the dagger and see if I can feel anything. Um, You do. And as she's stepping back, she's like, Seems like you have some good friends. Keep them close. And uh, the daughter of the Spring Spire says hi. Kind of turns and starts walking away. Uh, and Michelle, you get a little like bottle, a tiny bottle with a cork in it and something inside, like a little scroll inside of it. Okay. And whatever was pushing this into your hand, you don't see it. Like, whether it was an animal, just... Yeah. I'm gonna attempt to push it up my sleeve until I can figure out a way to store it. Give me a sleight of hand check so the others don't notice. Hello, who is this? That's a 16. It's Alexis! Or me. S speaking of Rowan, notices hey. me tucking something up my sleeve. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, if Alexis is, uh, Discord works. Hello. 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 Okay, uh, let me know when you're ready to join, and then I will add All you. Alright, I'm gonna just open up Zoom. Okay. So we'll be right back while uh, Alexis yeah. is joining. Yeah, we'll do um, we'll do a quick break time uh, while this happens. All right, you're joining. Glad you got your internet fixed. Glad you could join us. Friggin' outage in the area. Hey. They said it would just be up when it was up, so I just checked until it was up. It, it happens with outages, I understand. Denver, surprisingly, is very bad at it here. For a city. Um, give me a second while I correct some of the screen so you're not Oscar. Uh, everyone's, everyone's gone on a break for now. Uh, I could catch you up real quick on what's happened. If yes, you please. Think. Okay, um, real quick. Just... I'm just open up roll 20 moves. Rowan's and Victor's and then... Okay, so everyone after uh, learning a little bit of the fate of Michelle's dad, um, they decided to leave the city because they don't think they could help Michelle's father. Um, and instead went back to Talbar, 
Got a few more supplies. Got some uh, uh, suggestions on what to collect from a very dense, dangerous forest uh, from Budokaz to possibly trade or make potions with. And then got two horses, a cart, and started traveling to Masorio, which took seven days, traveling relatively fast. Um, when you guys arrived, uh, Zan found out that Michelle is wanted, dead or alive. Oh. Yep. And but the price is just says pays handsomely. Interesting. Uh, yep. Um, not only that, as you guys are knowing that Oscar, uh, not Oscar, uh, Michelle's wanted, uh, you guys decided to stay in the outskirts of the city, not go into any of the islands deep into the city of Masurial, and you were all kind of met by a hooded figure who threw a illusionary dagger, it seemed like, at Michelle. Um, only for it to stop right in front of his face and talk to him a bit about uh, what's been going on uh, asking him a few questions that they were reluctant to answer um, and something was forced into Michelle's hand as she was talking to him like right in front of his face like she kind of came stepping up that close to him to talk uh, as Zan and everyone kind of threatened her because she was, she seemed threatening. Um, you all kind of had her back off, but Michelle had something put into his hand, which Rowan, you would definitely have noticed a small kind of bottle floating uh, that was being kind of pushed against Michelle's hand. And then Michelle seems to notice like his hands react and kind of like grab at it and pull on it. And then kind of try to slide it up his sleeve a little. A small bottle. Yeah, a very tiny bottle uh, with a cork in it and what looks like there's something inside. Not liquid, something physical inside that you couldn't really see too well. Um, but yeah, wow, you just came back just in time to see that. Okay. Sorry, what was she saying to him again? Uh, she said something about uh, how... Um, like he did he know about the whole the fact that he was a tiefling all along and uh, she asked him that not only that uh, you know they thought that she was after Michelle's head only for them to find out no she was actually here helping Michelle's stepmom uh, finding uh, making sure she was safe here in the city uh, Rowan, you would have noticed, along with everyone else, while you guys were entering the city from the high hills from the west, um, that large portions of the city was damaged and destroyed, with some parts still smoldering. So... Sure. Yeah, and she was here, apparently, to help or assist Michelle's stepmom and stepbrother and sister here, according to her. Uh, and she said, you should be thankful with me that I was here. And she is apparently Inquisitor Soquin, a high elf lady with dark brown hair and, uh, and a short pixie cut, wears a heavy traveling cloak uh, that, and also has a light uh, scar from her, that leads from her bottom, or from her left cheek down to her neck. And she said as she was walking away that, you know, he should keep those friends around that he like your you guys around because you you guys seem to be good friends and says something about how the daughter of the spring spire says uh hi or hello she also tried to kiss michelle she got really close to him but didn't try to kiss him but zan did <laughs> zan, tried. zan did wait is zan Zan kissed who no michelle zan or slipped who? in between him when Both she was like, like five inches away from his face oh. Yeah. At the same time, or one after the other? It was like a menagerie, <laughs> so it was like... <laughs> that was awkward. That was awkward. <laughs> Man, today doesn't feel like a Sunday. It, earlier in today, it felt like a, a fucking weekday, because I had to go into study and do stuff. And then now it feels like a Friday, which sucks, because it's a Monday tomorrow. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
What a shitty feeling. <laughs> I'm just la laughing now, imagining uh, Michelle and uh, that woman with, like, slime on their faces because Zan's always wet and she just slid past both of them. <laughs> well, like, when Zan was kind of uh, pushing herself in between them, she kind of stepped back and put her hands up to show that she wasn't mm -hmm. a threat. <laughs> um... Just thinking that uh, scene in Dodgeball where the guy jumps up and gets his belly smeared all over oh, his face. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, and Michelle also tried to contact Coriel only for him not to uh, respond to something. But I'll be right back. Hello. Ole. I'm, I'm still here as well. What you eating there, Robert? Pizza Hut. <laughs> yeah. My hair's too short. Alright, once Duke gets back, we'll start up again. I hope he comes back soon. He's busy potato dogging at pizza. Mm, potato dogging. <laughs> yeah, he said, he said, teasing me about potato dog. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, our audio isn't muted when we're on break. I just want to say. That's well, funny. damn, let the audience know on potato dog. No! <laughs> oh, I'm so exhausted. I just googled potato dog and there's like a little animation <laughs> called Oh Potato Dog. Yeah, that's what I googled <laughs> as well. <laughs> so the item you said was a bobble with a note in it? Yes, a small note. And you can see it later when, you know, that's what it is. To you, it just feels like it's a tiny bottle. It didn't feel harmful or anything or yep. prickly, so, you know, you took it into your hand. Oh, uh, okay. So there we go. There's a. We're back. Woo. Okay. Whoa. Um, now, while I adjust a few things on my side, you can see Inquisitor Soquin steps away, and as she turns and walks into the crowd deeper into Masurial, you can see a few others that are dressed closely and similar to her kind of join aside her from around the uh, the other alleyways and the streets uh she was definitely not alone when she was doing this but uh you know she's walking away at this point time to so head I, out of the city you just said date that bitch or something um no it's it's no it's uh she's an inquisitor she <clears throat> She works for Sierra, more or less. What's an inquisitor? They question people. Kind they know a lot of information. <laughs> I'm with you. I'm with you. Alright, let's uh Oh Rowan, hey. Hey, I've been here the whole time. Yeah, I know, it just looks like you've been asleep walking around. It's it's weird. Same with Boone, like his yeah. eyes are closed and just following us. Anywho. <laughs> the forest? Oh, yeah, I think so. I brought enough divine magic to burn the whole place down, so we should be safe. Can you not burn down the forest when we're in it? It's a last ditch effort. Can you not do it when we're in it? Yeah, but I mean, oh, think of all the it. fun it we're gonna have if we're dodging burning logs as they're falling on us. That sounds terrible. I mean, it heck, if they're awful. burning, they might be weak enough you could punch through them. Yeah. Yeah, because that's how burning yeah. wood works. <laughs> Alright, let's go. Alrighty. I guess uh, if we don't have a horse, if we don't have horses, uh, I can try and pull the cart. No, we got Victoria. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Not really a horse. Oh like, my god! Like you know what? You know what? I want to see Oscar pull the cart. That sounds amazing. <laughs> okay. Uh, oh, gee, you're you're gonna join us now? Yeah. Okay. Break number two. <laughs> <laughs> Well, good thing I was setting up the 
The... Duke, you're good to go back to potato dogging. We'll see you in like five minutes. Yeah. <laughs> Take just a moment. Oh, what, what? Okay, what is potato dogging? Nothing. Dog? <laughs> oh. You have to tell me now. We'll do it later I'll after the it. stream's over. Okay, fine. What? Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, here is the Um. All right, you guys keep role, uh, role playing, and then we'll try to make this transition smooth. Because I already set it up for when she's going okay. to join us. Do we need anything else to go to the forest? Rope. In their boxes, matches, gasoline. No, I mean we still have all our gear from when we went to Spelunkin in those mines. So I mean, true. I let's see. And I open up my bag. Um, I still have the rope. I think I left all the. No, you guys have the pikes, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. Because I I dropped off a bunch of stuff at the house because you know. We're planning to buy some stuff or carry stuff. Felt like we should have more room. <clears throat> oh, someone give Rowan uh, his platinum ring. No, oh. I had Rowan the platinum ring. Here you go. What is this? It's a uh, it's a friendship ring, and it's for a spell, so I need you to wear it. So it is magic. Well, the ring isn't magic. Friendship is magic. I channel my magic through the ring. Zan asked for seven plat rings. I got seven plat rings, and I handed a plat ring out to everyone. That's as much as I know. Okay. So I'll put on the ring then. I'll channel. I'll, I'll be able to channel my magic all over you when you have that ring on. So don't worry about like dying sometimes. Don't worry. Oh. You gotta worry. Like you'll still die. Nah, yeah. don't worry. Less you worry, okay. the more fun you have. That sounds uh. terrible. That sounds, yeah, that sounds like I don't want to die. Therefore, I will worry about dying. As long as I'm here being vigilant, none of y'all will die, die. But only kind of die? Kind of die. Like, That's your soul a... will leave your body. I don't like, like an like itty that. bitty die. <clears throat> yeah, and then I will claw your soul back in there. It doesn't leave. Until I want it to leave. <laughs> is, this, is it painful? Honestly, if Victor was awake right now, he would explain the situation. Victor's just gonna Is join Victor us dead? Soon. No, Victor's with you guys. Victor's like partially asleep. He's had a long yeah. day. Very groggy. It must have been the, the rations. Yeah, we all got high off rations. This city was like turning into different cities. It was weird. Excuse <laughs> me? Where was I? You were tripping out too, but like very silently. And, like, I did uh, not but... describe the city well. That's why that's <laughs> trying to say that the city was... Mile high stone towers decorated with modern brickwork. No, no, that's not it. No, it <laughs> looked kind of like this. That's why I didn't. Like I couldn't find the original. Diamond. Yeah, I couldn't find Imagine the original. There's picture, islands so. and it's a baseball diamond. But, uh, G, let me know when you're on Zoom. But yeah, I'm getting there. Let me know when you guys are. All right, guys are doing. Let's I'm, I'm already uh, on, so go ahead. Yeah, straight into the woods. If we encounter something dangerous or dead people, that means we're going the right way. Agronac, can you, like, piggyback me? Hey, yeah, sure. Thanks, buddy. Why do you need a piggyback, Sad? My father never I'm held me as a child. <laughs> yeah, I didn't know my dad. <laughs> this is the closest I get to, um... Any sort wait, of wait, 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 wait. So let's go through the group. Who actually knows their dad? I know my dad. I know my dad. Okay. Why are we talking about this? Yeah. I don't know. Oh. Agrodak was talking about how he doesn't know his dad, and then Zan was saying something similar. Oh, what kind of edgy mom. ass group is this? <laughs> well, the rest of us know our fathers. Yeah. But now, now, now if we go mothers, that's I don't know my mother. Yeah, me neither. Oh, I love my mom. Yeah, I know yeah, mine. My mom's great. <laughs> See, we're not. How would we're you guys not, not know your mothers? Hmm. Well, I mean, she, she, I told you she left before I was born, so. Oh yeah, that. <laughs> hmm. Apparently, my something about that doesn't seem to sound right, but okay. Yeah, Zan. I mean, I I pray to Helm that I have not fathered any children, but it seems like I haven't. But in my understanding, the mother always has to be there when the child is born. Divine conception. 
He's <laughs> <laughs> so by our mother for that. There's a lot I don't Helm understand about is my religion. mother. Helm is your mother. <laughs> There's a lot I don't understand, I guess. I need to finish reading the pamphlet. Far. I came out of the helmet. <laughs> <laughs> you were bored with one stuck to your head. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, oh, maybe. I mean, it's a god. It could. Yeah. Definitely. I don't see why not. There's mm -hmm. a lot I don't know about these things, so. <clears throat> That's perfectly fine. I'm still reading oh, that so... pamphlet. Just to let you guys know, do not use my name where we're in the city. Otherwise, we might have to fight people. Okay. Shut up, Mitch. Uh, Mitch. 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 Who is Mitch. that? Mitch Darren. Max Danger. <laughs> Max Danger. There we go. I'm Max Danger. Who are Max Danger? That is pretty cool. Yeah. That's my stage name. Well, I mean, yeah. Right, let's, Welcome let's to the, the stage, first. Max Danger, as he gets on his motorcycle. <laughs> What's a motorcycle? It's a horse named motorcycle. It's a yeah. horse named motorcycle. <laughs> that's that's, that's yeah. Victoria's stage name. Oh, interesting. I mean, Victoria yeah. was a pretty good name, I thought. Did you, but... did you train Victoria to make... <laughs> 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 no, she just she has that. terrible gas. Oh, no. <laughs> Poor thing. So, about that. It's not a she, it's a he, but its name is Victoria. That's no, fine. is it a Look, she? Free your I mind about gender, Michelle. I should. Yeah. yeah. It's just Victoria. Yeah, Victoria, that's hmm. just who Victoria is. Alrighty. So what are we doing? We're going to the Enchanted <laughs> Forest to go... Oh yeah, there's also a dragon that attacked this town. I forgot to mention. Hey, maybe it's now in the woods. I remember. Wow. I remember. Yeah. Y'all want to go dragon hunting? Because uh, uh, I've never done that, and I do have a list. It's a helmet mm. list, because I don't use buckets, I use helmets. I just want to say something. I 100% could be wrong, but what I believe is, remember the red dragon that was released from the city? Yes. I think that might have been the dragon that attacked the city. So we can oh. tear this dragon down. No, because it's oh. a very respected dragon. But I don't think yes. people knew he who that dragon was when the dragon got attacked. Because from my knowledge, Coriel called me a while ago. <laughs> I completely forgot about this till now. And he said a dragon was attacking the city. Will we eventually get a chance to slay a dragon? Yeah. Michelle, oh, that call or that letter technically was like months ago yeah and the damage to the buildings here some of them are still smoldering mm. i don't know that they're still well smoldering. no you guys would have seen the smoldering things like the... i haven't seen a dragon attack i don't know if it's a month long ordeal or if it's like a year thing well yeah uh, a dragon there, attacked a while ago i'm just recalling that okay. letter had been like Sorry, blood just... on it hmm. <clears throat> Sorry, oh. what did you say I said out of character, I remember that letter oh. blood on. In ah. character. Um, I don't know if I want to go back to that city if that's where the Red Dragon attacked. I mean... You guys are in the city, technically, in the walls of the city right now. Yeah, I mean, we're there's there. robots around. These robots will take care of you if you don't do funny business around yeah. them. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure the robots will take okay. care of Well, I'm, I'm taking you up on your promise of us slaying a dragon one day. Okay. You hear well, that, God? Uh... <laughs> you mean Helm? Well, you hear that, Helm? We're gonna fight a dragon. Well, look on the bright it's side, happening. Zan. Maybe it'll attack the city again when we're here. Did, Hel did Helm hear me when I said that? <laughs> uh, it depends, you know, because it's, it, it's, like, it's like getting into a really nice club if you're popular and rich and famous. Like, oh, okay. We'll let you in if you're not. Maybe you'll get in sometime. I'm popular. I'm rich. I'm famous. Not the helm. You're not in the helm. Oh, okay. Zan, you're none of these I things. How do you get in? Didn't help send Look at her. Didn't help send you to us with our names? Yeah, no, well, it so was more so... So help knows about me. It was more so, <laughs> hey, uh, there's this, this thing that's going to happen. Not too sure what it is, but these asshats are involved. And then, you know, Oscar's there, too. And uh, <laughs> keep them alive until they do their thing, and then you can go home and retire. Ah. Yeah. Hmm. Wait, you're retiring? I mean, I would hope so after I'm done keeping you guys alive. How long do you keep us alive for? 
uh, until Helen goes, "Hey, buddy, uh, hit the hit the showers." Uh, <laughs> hey, thanks, Helen. <Helm. laughs> so, why does Helm hmm. care about us? Um, I don't know. I don't know. I was told come protect you guys. Great, great. You know, legends, prophecy, something. You guys are meant to do great things, or at least abysmal things, from what I've seen. And, uh, uh, and Oscar, and you know, if Helm hmm. is so great, why wouldn't he just protect us himself? Well, you know, gods can't come down to the mortal world; it'll fuck everything up. Bye. Okay, let me give y'all a history lesson. Okay. <clears throat> I'm ready. That sounds official. Well, you're you're on a mail, <laughs> Peter. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, okay. I didn't even ask you for a roll. I was like, I was like, oh, okay. You know, this is gonna make things up as he goes. All right. I'm not uh, gonna tear okay. down your entire fucking. He's <laughs> just frantically <laughs> googling uh, while she's talking to us. What is? <laughs> so, so, uh, with your knowledge, I mean, there's a reason why gods. Don't step, but you don't remember the uh, words that Majuli has drilled into your mind before. <laughs> okay. Uh, you know, it's been a while since I read up on the ancient lore, but something about having extremely powerful beings all come to the surface at once might cause a massive war or something. Mm. Is, that, is uh, this what's going to happen when Victor and I are on this plane? Mm. No. No? Uh, <laughs> there's, there's much, much famous much more famous people than you guys uh, you, you take that back <laughs> all right i'll take it not back uh who is more famous than me i mean most people are more famous than michelle y'all ever but... heard of uh jesus no no oh yeah i've heard of that guy yeah one of the first... <laughs> one of paylor's first clerics uh is he okay <clears throat> yeah he uh, he was so powerful he used to make like islands float and shit <laughs> I turned he, he turned uh, water into wine. Yeah, you guys Yum. remember the Red Sea? That was old wine. <laughs> oh, Red Sea. <laughs> yeah, it's a storybook. There's, there's more pamphlets you gotta read. Oh God, it's taking me so long to get through the first one. It's two pages. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, if I can turn water into wine. I'd like a couple of his pamphlets. <clears throat> Cure the sick, you know, help the homeless. Anyways, um, we should probably you know leave this town before Michelle gets noticed and arrested. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, well, yeah. Who's, who's Michelle? Who's Michelle? I mean, Max Danger. There Max we go. Max Danger. Max Danger. The most dangerous man alive. Okay. No, that's you, Oscar. <laughs> that's probably true, yeah. yeah. There was someone that could beat up Paylor. It's Oscar. <laughs> I I'm just beat shuffling my foot in the sand, like, oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> so, let's go grab the car and head out. Yeah. Okay. Someone tied to Oscar. <laughs> so, you guys grab a cart from the stables. That you guys, uh, but you guys are leaving the horses, right? Yep. In the stable, yeah. Got it. And uh, little Jimmy, so he doesn't die. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Michelle, are you casting, or is Oscar trying to pull everyone? I'm gonna let Oscar try to pull everyone for like a little bit, see how it goes, and then okay, I'll Okay, so who's walking and who's actually in the cart? The cart is not like a carriage, remind you. It's an open back, yeah, it's not an open back cart. It has a tarp, you know, uh, on top to shield you guys from weather, but that's it. There's nothing, and it's cold. Like a prairie wagon. But yeah, and the way here has been cold because you guys traveled in December. It is. It has been warmer the more you, uh, the closer you have gotten to Mysterial, though. So keep that in mind. Alrighty. <clears throat> so. So okay. what, uh, Oscar? What can we expect, Michelle? Do you know what what's going on in these forests? Well, Aren't you uh, the god? No owner. Oh, not god owner. God so owner. God, I, I know that. God, uh, damn. How high of a level you think I am in this? Uh, <laughs> this, I guess you could call it a cult because we don't have a lot of followers anymore. That's how it is that works. how it works? If you don't have yeah. little followers, it's a cult. Well, if if you have like one guy that's with you and you're telling them fanatical shit, it's more of a. We'll go through this. Sounds okay. more like okay. a friendship. Well, well before we. Uh... <laughs> There's just one before guy. Before we headed off, uh, I spoke to that potion guy. Me and Michelle met, or Max met. Yeah. And, oh, the potion uh, seller. Yeah, he 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 was saying that there's. <clears throat> 
lots of monsters in there and anything on them is worth the little at least and then we can also like find some freaky trees with like eyes and teeth and those are worth something too wait how do we what what do we do with these teeth trees how do we obtain money oh. from them so who's pulling the yeah, car? i just want to know is oscar uh, still i am who's in the car yeah. who's in the car <laughs> i'm on Agronax back okay so Agronax walking with carrying zan on his back i'd be outside yeah okay I'm with Vicky. Vicky? <laughs> <laughs> Victoria. Which one? Uh, yeah, I thought, is that me or is that Victoria? Uh, okay, and then everyone else is in the cart. <clears throat> Oscar, just give me a, a, a strength check. Okay. Strength check or athletics? Just or... just strength okay. check. It's not... Ooh. Okay. Yeah, you're managing to pull it along. Like, you know, the, yep. the wheels aren't square or anything. <laughs> Um, Low center of gravity. Yeah, I can walk. I don't need to be on it. Okay. Uh, but as you guys are walking, I, you know, I just want you to know it's it is warmer, but it's still relatively cool here. I'm hey, I have a warm cloak to wear. Oh yeah, Victor, take the platinum ring from Michelle, since you just woke up. I place it in your hand. What is this? It's for magic. What magic? It's a friendship ring. Yeah. And when you punch people in the face, it'll leave an impression on them. Okay, I mean, that's all good. The impression is fear. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Just write fear backwards on it, so when you punch oh, it... Oh, they... <laughs> damn, that would be so awesome. But, um, what, is, what am I supposed to do with it's, this? It's just a spell component, just put it on your finger and I can... It's one of, one of my spells can work. Why do I have to wear it? Everyone has one. Oh. It's also necessary for identifying bodies in case it's a really bad fight. Oh, okay. That's comforting. <laughs> All right, I will put it on, I guess. Cool. Teamwork. <laughs> Makes the dream work. What spell is this What's for? Oh, the... <laughs> uh, you know, it's a little old something by the name of uh, a Warding Bond. Oh, that sounds good. Yeah. You, you know that spell where I hit myself and I heal you? Yeah, I don't like that one. Yeah, th this is a different one. It's when someone hits you and I still feel it. So oh, it's... that seems worse. <laughs> why? Lines of... why? <laughs> it's more in my day. Why is that? Zan, why? <laughs> you know, Zan, I'm not going to lie. That might not be the best idea to be hooked up to me. Honestly, I'm the most metal of all of you besides Oscar. So, uh, I mean, trust. yeah, you are, but still. You were voted in a recent poll as the winner of a fight, so... Oh, cool. I don't know who voted on a poll. Everyone here. We all took a secret but I poll. I did. Yep. <laughs> oh. All right. Cool. Wrong. Oscar would win, but. Well, no. It was it was me or you or Michelle and people. Okay. Agreed. Obviously me. Yeah. Well. Yeah. I didn't think it was yep. so obvious, but that's what everyone else said. So. <laughs> if we actually got down to the brass tacks, I think Rowan would just kill us in our sleep. Uh, again, Rowan was not an option of choice on this poll. Just say it. We're talking about everybody. You're muted, Alexis. Well, why not? Uh, why not included in this. Yeah, why not? Why wasn't Rowan included? I don't know. I guess I just chose the three least scary looking people. These friendship oh. bracelets mean oh. nothing to you. No, it's that's a, not. I mean, you have oh, to remember man. that after Rowan stabs you in the neck, he still has to try and get away from you, so you can take him out then. Right. Well, uh -oh. I was just thinking about people who fought kind of similarly. That's why I was doing that poll. I, I don't fight like you guys. Never mind. The point is, you won the poll. <laughs> if anything, so it'd be congrats. Oscar. <laughs> All right, thank Just you. Just be happy that you won. Follow right, questionable right. role models on Twitter. Okay. Anyway, let's move on. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, how far is this forest? It seems like we've been traveling for minutes. I hate this. <laughs> That's what, what we've been doing for the past week now. <sighs> it's okay. It's I mean, you thing guys I, literally I did travel for about a week to get to Masurio. But you guys, after, without resting uh, in the city, you guys left your horses, but took your cart using your find a greater steed, Michelle, and turned around and headed west and eventually north. As you guys whenever are- you're, Whenever you're tied, Oscar, just let Victoria take the cart. It's only pain. <laughs> it's only pain. <laughs> it's only pain. Okay, so Oscar, how oh long are you God. pulling for? Um, until he's starting to Feel fall it. down on his knees. Yeah. <laughs> wow. 
Wow. Okay, uh, I want you to give me three subsequent strength checks. Please. Okay. During this time, I'm just talking to Victor. Yes. What's with Sad and Oscar? Are they just masochistics? Like, you what? have two points of exhaustion. Um. Oh, God! It's something I wonder about. <laughs> but By the time and you... And he collapsed. Oh, God. <laughs> like, <laughs> as Oscar's pushing, uh, like, eventually, like, he's getting slower and slower. And then at one point, like, his feet slips and his, he lets go of his hand and, like, splats onto the ground. It's like it's rained recently, so like it's he's coated in mud at this point. It's, okay. it's the mud. I can get back up. Ow. He's just tired. Uh, Agronax gonna take Zan and like put her in the the wagon, and then pick up Oscar and put him in the wagon. Okay. So That's and good. he's gonna take, right. take over the cart. We oh, have a horse. You know, I like found in all my life, it's like I'm a bigger man <laughs> when it comes to pushing. Pull it. You are. Area. True. All right. Oscar rim limply raises a thumbs up from the cart. Ag Agronac, yeah. since you said you're taking over the cart, I need you to give me a strength check. I just whisper over to Victoria. If you ever, if you ever tired of carrying people, just ask these two. They, they <laughs> seem to, they seem to like it. Agronac. What does Victoria say? <laughs> Nothing. Nay. 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 <laughs> all right uh all right so agronac you yeah you're pushing along it's tough you know the, the the ground is slick um and as you guys are headed back into this kind of lightly wooded area with the where the road leads through you can see that the road eventually uh splits again and the less traveled road uh or path north appears and now that you're stopping uh, for a moment for a breather, at this point you can hear, like, a river relatively nearby. Refreshing. Yeah. But you know that north should be the way to go. Do we want to cap out or are we good? Like, Oscar looks pretty tired. Yeah. I can't feel my feet, but I can crawl. Oh, no. Let's take yeah, a look. break. Sounds yeah. good to me. A long hey, Michelle, break. Mm -hmm. Now, we're going to be in a forest. I obviously can't take my uh, my fire from above spell. Yeah? I clearly can't take my divine fire from above spell. <laughs> yeah, that's a bad idea. So that only leaves me with good. massive insect plagues. Oh, God. <laughs> you think that would upset the delicate balance of insects within this forest? Kermit. Are they magical insects? Like, what happens to the insects after the spell goes? Well, the insects just... themselves aren't magical. They're just plaggy. Plaggy? So, so you bring insects... You, like, summon insects? Pretty much. And then after the spell goes, they just disperse? They just die. They just die oh. and hit the floor. Oh. <laughs> what kind oh. of insect right? uh, That's You know, locusts, terrible. Uh, cockroaches with wings, ants with wings. Uh, yeah, yeah. Anything that can Dude, carry. No more, no more bug talk. No more Slimy bug talk. It's satisfying. No more bug talk. What, you don't like locusts, Max? Nope, nope. They're basically just grasshoppers that nope. have a wired brain. They're pretty I good fried. I'm good. I'm good. As you guys uh, start camping out, uh, starting to like camp out for the night, you could see this road is relatively, you know, uh, often used as there are travelers kind of making their way past you guys um as what <laughs> as uh that's a lumpy cloak as the night falls and you guys have your kind of like little camp set up on the side of the road uh along this kind of lightly wooded area uh i need to know if anyone's taking watch or anything here I'll take watch. I would like I take watch. watch. Oh, everyone Oscar's wants to watch. sleeping face well, down on the floor. <laughs> first, second, third. Oscar, yeah, you pass out. It was exhausting. <laughs> Just pulling <laughs> these idiots along. First watch, uh, Michelle. Okay. I'll okay. take watch if anyone wants to I'll take watch, watch with, me. with Michelle. Okay. Uh, and then second watch I'll and take... then third watch. I'll, I'll take second. Oh, okay. Uh, I'll take third. How many watches do we need? Well, you could do two or three, but All right, with so. everyone, since everyone needs to sleep eight hours, basically, in this group. Yeah. Um, probably three. 
I'll, right. I'll take third watch, I guess. I will also take third watch. <laughs> okay. <laughs> First watch comes about. Michelle, you know, everyone falls asleep. You still, you kind of are sitting by the campfire. You can see a few little bugs here or there. So you just kind of like shoot them away a bit. I pull a little tiny bottle with the note. Okay. Uh, and Rowan, you. you're, you know, you're also on the watch too. And yeah. Michelle, you kind of like pull out the little bottle. It's cork. You probably saw, you probably saw it when I uh, tried to hide this away. Oh yeah, I definitely did. Is there a reason that you're not telling the rest of the group about this? I don't know what this is. I uncork it, pull the note out. Uh, by the way, the Do cork, like me, there's, yes or no? <laughs> it's a, there's a seal. It's like a wax, you know, it's wax. And it's a tiny little bottle, but you could see there's a seal imprinted on it. And Is that seal anyway like Elvin? Yes, definitely. And for oh. you, you would instantly know, you no checks needed, like... It's the spring royal family symbol. Huh. So when she said that the daughter of the spring uh, said hi, she, he wasn't. She wasn't kidding. I break the seal, pop the cork, okay. dump the note out. Okay. Um, it's a little rolled up thing. As you kind of unscroll it and look at it, it's. Uh, it says. I'm sure you don't remember me, but I remember you. I want you to know, I tried to make sure your dad didn't get the punishment he has now. It must be a horrible thing to lose one's memory. I hope you can forgive our people for how we are treating your father. So, that explains a lot. What did it say? You can read it if you'd like to. It talks about how uh, the Spring Spire are the ones that uh, saved my father from eternal imprisonment, or at least terrible imprisonment. Um, but they said something about taking your father's memories. Something about taking my father's memories, which is uh, a little annoying considering that my memories is probably already Oh, has been taken as well. Now I got more oh. questions. Great, it never ends. <sighs> How have you been, Rowan? I suggest you bring that up to the rest of the group. I'm sure they'll figure out something. And you've been doing okay, Rowan? I'm fine. Okay, that's good to hear. There is nothing new in my world. No new, uh, bird information? The birds don't change. We're not I that beg, complicated. I beg to differ. As I gesture it, towards you. What is that supposed to mean? Birds don't change? Hello? Oh. Uh-huh. <laughs> We're not I'm supposed go, to change. I'm gonna go take a nap now. Alright. Okay. I'll just wait till the next watch. All right. Uh, so, uh, at this point, I need uh, the second watch. Agronac, it's just you, right? Okay. Um, so, Rowan wakes you up. You know, you start taking watch. I need you to tell me if, uh, if there's anything you're going to be doing while everyone else is asleep. But you everyone else is asleep um i'll throw down my my portable hole and take out my brew and, and take a drink from it okay just sort of watch look after things all right so just the just the usual watch stuff yeah okay nothing too big going on um as you're looking out i need you to give me a perception check Okay. You hear slight crunching of sorts, or like scraping, like it, it's less crunching but like scraping, kind of coming from Oscar's direction. Oscar's direction. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna brandish my my knuckles and, and go check it out. Okay. 
you kind of go over to where Oscar is, you know, passed out. You could, you hear him snoring, but there's a, there's a kind of a scratching sound still. Coming from Oscar? Yeah. I'm gonna get up close and personal and figure out what it is. Okay, so you like get real close. I need you to give me a, uh, a stealth check. To try not to wake him up as you do this. Uh, okay. Uh, Oscar, you're real tired, right? Yeah, okay. I'm out like a light. You're out like a light. All right. So, um, Akronik, you go in and you're like listening to see if there's where the sound is coming from. Uh, it, Oscar's sleeping kind of face down. His hands are both kind of down. His head's down. Uh, kind of slightly to the side um it's coming from the upper part of his body from what you can tell but it's not as snoring is it on like is it on like the other side of him like the side that's on the i'm give me, I, I don't know how to me, say he's gonna get handsy give me but, uh... Uh, give me an investigation <laughs> check uh as you start to like kind of pry a bit on him to see what the hell is Okay, um, this point, uh, Oscar, you still wouldn't really wake up to it, but Agronac, you kind of get down, and what you think is making the sound, you kind of lift up his hand, um, and you could see that on his palm, there are a row of circular teeth that's been kind of like scratching at, away at the ground beneath him where it just happens to be uh, a kind of like a boulder like a part of a boulder and it's just been like gnawing and kind of like you know scraping itself against it it's like in his hand it, it's on his hand like a circular like it's literally like a ring like a circular row of teeth that's just been kind of like and just kind of like like a leech yeah but yeah. the teeth are relatively big or a hagfish mouth or something. Oh, God. <laughs> hagfish. Yeah. I'm going to do something a little unconventional. I'm going to pull out a gold coin. <laughs> I'm going to try to feed it to his hand. Oh. Let's uh, see what it does. All right. It, the teeth kind of clack around it and pull it into it, the dark void inside of its hand. And it just kind of... And it's... It stays still for a second, and then it again starts to move, like the teeth. Interesting. Your coin's gone. Okay. <laughs> That's fine. I have 99 more, at least. <laughs> um, I'm just going to daintily put his hand back down and go back to my watch, because... <laughs> okay. I don't know when to unpack that and, like talk about it all right uh -oh. so uh towards the end of your watch you go wake up san and victor who had agreed to do the third watch and you go to sleep mm -hmm. so victor and san on your watch good night, Eddie. <laughs> good night. all right uh oh victor you're joining me yeah i said i was going to oh i wasn't paying attention all right cool is that okay so Oh, that's that's cool. That's cool. So, uh, what's new? Well, I'm still trying to read the Helm pamphlet. I'm almost done. I have like a paragraph left. All right, sounds good. Boone taught me something really good. He said something about sounding it out. Yeah. Other real tough words. Yeah, that is a good tip. Still takes a little time though. Okay. All right. Uh, you know, since you are trying to learn about Helm and stuff. Mm -hmm. How do you feel about uh, 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 dedicating yourself to the Church of Home? Um, well, what what would I do if I dedicated myself to the Church of Home? Well, you know, vow to watch and protect and guard all within his kingdom. Everywhere the light and light does not touch. So everyone in the world. Um, it, it's, it, well, technically, yes, but like... You, you have certain pe you're pretty much like an, a glorified bodyguard for something so I have to be assigned to someone 
well, I was assigned to you guys, but it's 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 more so that's how we make money for the church. But oh. you're pretty much like the the helmet on the head of justice. You know, you're blocking the blows. Yeah, I mean that sounds pretty cool. Do they ever assign people as like a duo? Uh, they yeah. In some cases, I I used to be part of one. Oh, what happened there? Uh he died. Oh. So then there was really nobody else that could take on the missions in the field because it was just me and him. Oh. So now it's just me. Hmm. How did he die? Uh, well, we when I first started out with the church, uh, <clears throat> we were sent to a small city that was being terrorized by kobolds, mm -hmm. and you know we we talked to the citizens. They were telling us what was happening, and then we got attacked by the kobolds. And apparently, they had a pet griffin. Oh. Or was it a hippogriff? I can't remember. Some big old beast. Mm -hmm. And while in in trying to save me after I had fucked something up, hmm. he got impaled, and then he impaled the thing, and they both died. Wow. Yeah. Well, I... His name was Nim. Nim. Uh, yeah. He's a pretty good guy. Well, I'm sorry to hear about Nim. He must have been a, a good person if you you know, worked with him and trusted him. Yeah, he, uh... He was my fiancé. Oh. Well, that is even worse. <laughs> Anywho, I have a ritual where you fully dedicate yourself to Helm. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, well... I, so if you want to think about it, you know. I'll think about it. Yeah. Okay. Well, I always have that handy, so. Okay. Well, you know, I'm still working on that last paragraph. Yeah, not a problem. I'll, uh... <laughs> I'm not feeling too good anymore. I'm gonna go for a walk. I'll, uh... I'll talk to you later. Okay. I will keep watch, then. Alright, I'm gonna go put my helmet on and walk away for about half an hour. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> Alright. Uh, so... Your watch comes to an end really without much happening okay dan comes back you guys talk a little bit more about Helm. no i just go straight to bed oh okay yeah i think xan yeah. is done for the night okay so as the night fades and the morning comes you guys stir awake you pack away your stuff into your cart and see that um not the road but a small like a, a lighter path north from your current position to the Emerald Forest up north. Would you like Victoria to pull the cart now? Yeah. Ow. Yeah, let's have Victoria. I'm still feeling that. Do a horse yep. thing. It's For always once. a day after that's worse. Tomorrow's <laughs> gonna be the worst. Are there any spells you guys want me to take today? Um, like what? What are the options? Uh, I got plenty of options. Just describe a symptom or situation. I can probably cover it. If he uh, ever needs something to eat, you should keep those locusts handy. Uh... Gotcha. <laughs> uh, no spells that hurt you. That's a good, good category. That. Okay. They are a defining feature of myself. Um, dispel that if one of us dies, you can bring us back. That's a good one. Always have that on hand. Very good yeah. one. We love that I one. Don't have I don't have the expensive one on hand. I only have Revivify. I can take Ray's dead if you would like me to. Mm. What does it require? Uh, I do. We do have a diamond for that. That's what we purchased the okay, original okay. diamond for. Yeah. But it's the 500 gold diamond. Mm. But that's a level five spell so that takes away either my yeah, insects but... or my cure wounds, my mass cure wounds. It's probably best just to keep the low level one. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. Um, I'm always keeping freedom of movement. I can take Death Ward if you need it. God, freedom of movement is so broken. <laughs> it's such a good spell. I don't care what people say. 
Death Ward's not a terrible one to keep on hand. Um, yeah. I mean, it's up to you. I don't know your spells as much as you do. Yeah, that's true. As long as you guys promise not to die, I'll, I'll, I won't take Death Ward. Yeah. I'll promise to try not to. Okay, I will definitely take Death Ward then. <laughs> All right, give me like an hour to pray. Someone carry me while I start praying. I mean, uh, just, this... You can lie in the cart with me, Zan. Yeah. All right, cool. I lay in the cart. Okay. Right. I hook Victoria up to the cart. Okay. Um, I'm not going to be picky about if you guys brought a harness because I don't have. So, but you guys, after hooking her up, uh, you guys. Wow, you seem gender. Him up. No, that's still gender. Them up. I don't. I there really we go. Don't. It's, it's a. It's a face. I really don't care. Oh, it's don't a face. It's a face. Deer. With antlers. But uh, Victoria doesn't care. I was just having fun. I know. They is always a safe bet. Um. Well, after you hook them up, you. Uh, you guys take the cart. On this lightly traveled path north. First thing that comes clear to you is the tree line ends pretty abruptly uh, soon after you guys start traveling. However, nearby there's a river that this trail seems to kind of hug along. Um, the fields around you are full of hills, and as you guys travel for a day, uh, or half the day, nothing much to see sparse tree lands and this the idea of uh that like an a forest a dense forest that you guys would describe um kind of disappears <laughs> for a moment a but fly. then the after and pray uh <laughs> after that a couple more hours go by and towards the end of your travels um you guys see it a dense tree line and i mean dense and not only that the air the air here feels humid the uh what's it called what's it what's the temperature like it's it's definitely has gotten warmer which is odd because it's still december you guys aren't too far from a surreal but it's definitely gotten warmer it's humid the trees in front of you are starting to, you know, get closer and closer together. Um, and yeah, you guys have definitely started entering the outlying skirts of what you expect to be the forest, the Emerald Forest here. Oh, it's a pretty big forest. Yeah, uh, I've seen bigger. Okay. <laughs> Just leave the card on the skirts of the forest. It's oh. probably pretty hard to take it along in the forest. Well, I mean, it all depends on how thick the trees are. Yeah. Is it possible to get a... Does it look like it's possible to get a, a cart through? And for now, yes. Like, the cart's, like, jostling a lot, yeah. you know, but eventually, probably not, as the trail starts to end. Um, you could see that the, uh, as you guys were traveling, there were small areas where it looked like nomadic tribes around here must have camped out where you could see places like uh, that uh, have been flattened. You know, you could see bits of remains of what seemed to be fires that have been put out a couple days ago. But yeah, okay. the tree uh, line's let's... thin enough that, you know, large groups can travel through it easily still. Seems to be as far as we can get the uh, cart. Well, I guess we'll just write our names on it and say don't steal this or we'll kill ya. Could also yeah, attempt to hide it. Well, uh, I guess yeah, that too. foliage we can actually put on top of it, but it's better than nothing. Okay. How far are we going into the forest? I think the deeper the better, that's where we find most of the creatures. Or at least yep. like, the bigger ones. Mm, okay. If we ever hear any strange or haunting or terrible sounding noises, we want to head in that direction. Yeah, that's actually right. Yeah. Huh. That's... Oh, I don't like that. Fun. <laughs> mm, 
All right, well, I hope our card is okay. Don't leave anything too valuable on it, I guess. Are you taking Victoria in, or...? Um, Victoria can just... She can guard the cart, or they can guard the cart if, uh, we need them yeah. to, so... Victoria, you're allowed to do whatever you want, just keep an eye on this cart ever so often. Nay. <laughs> that's, how, that's how Victoria's gonna sound from now. Just nay. 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 <laughs> the the, the yes. most unenthused, uh, unenthused face, dear. It's funny because that's yes in Korean, so it sounds nay, like nay a really unenthused yeah. uh, yeah. Korean speaking. Yeah, language. that's what, that's what I'm gonna say. I'm all, just gonna say. All fake creatures are Korean. Is, yeah. is that what the fake is? Korea? <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's God. like uh, the rainbow creature like the on uh, Adventure Time, right? Oh, Lady Renicorn. Yeah. Yeah, always oh, speaks Korean. Right? <laughs> yep, Lady okay. Renicorn. Who's good before us? Someone lead the charge here. Uh, I expected you. Do I look oh, like by a the forest way, dweller? You guys have traveled close to eight hours already, but you guys could travel more at this point. Like maybe an hour or two more. Because most of you guys were probably on the cart, so. Yeah. Rowan, do you know about forests? I do know about forests. Yeah. Could you help heard. us? But I don't know this forest. Oh, okay. Well, okay, well how, how are we just going well, straight line? Does that sound fair? Okay. Well, if we're looking for anything, if we ever get lost, I could just fly up there and mm. see if I see anything. Nah. I uh, yeah. point to my familiar, and uh, if we, we need to, I can also send him somewhere. I also have about a mile's distance from speaking with Victoria. You can speak Fair with enough. Victoria a mile away? Yeah. That's cool. I just did. Whoa. I just said <laughs> hi. <laughs> Damn. I mean, I can't yeah. deny that you did or didn't, so... What, what did they say? Nay. Nay. Oh. You, you really don't know what Victoria sounds like, but the only thing Victoria does is say nay to me. Which does Victoria, uh, like, it's... speak fey or horse? I don't know. So I, have a, I used to have a friend that could speak horse. I assumed what? the fey creature would learn know how to speak, but apparently it just says nay, which I don't know if means it doesn't understand me. I don't know if it means yes or no. Maybe. Maybe it's just keep saying no. It could. Yeah, or maybe Victoria just doesn't care to speak to you. That's sad. <laughs> I don't Can we not talk about that? Have Let's you asked on. Victoria about what they want out of life? Victoria, what do you want? Like... <laughs> not right now, it's not the time. <laughs> she just she just said nay. Okay, fine. If we ever run into my friend again, we'll, we'll have this conversation with Victoria, see what uh, they want. If one of you guys can talk to Victoria, please. Okay. I'll try. So you guys are headed into the forest? Mm-hmm. Okay. Inwards, ever deeper. So you take your first steps deeper into the forest, leaving Victoria and the cart behind. As you guys travel deeper, you notice that... The first thing you notice that is the lack thereof of intense sunlight. The area around you, even with the clouds, you know, it felt sunny before, but now with the canopy getting denser and denser, it's definitely hard to see. Not only that, the ground beneath you seems to, you know, uh, tangle and weave at your feet at, as roots and vines kind of try to cling onto the tips of your shoes. Guys, I don't like this. Make your way deeper into the forest, and you you definitely see tons of signs of life, different birds, uh, creatures, and insects. Um, but I need whoever is leading you guys <clears throat> to give me a survival check. Who wants to lead? Mm. I'll lead. I can you... send my familiar straight up and look through its eyes and try and also help you figure out which is the densest part of the forest I mean, too. Like, I I have survival training. Like I've I've taken the training. The survival training. I can, Did, I can didn't you moss. say didn't you say that you can't do this? I can't tell poisonous plants apart, but I'm I'm good at keeping <laughs> people alive. Then why ask who's going to lead this if you can lead this? I'm not going to, like, I don't want to put myself in that position where, like, oh, we need a leader. Oh, look at me. 
I'm not gonna be that person. Don't you do that already? No, I'm not no. Michelle. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Max Danger. Fuck it. Aragonac, let's go. You and me, buddy. Let's get it. Okay, I need you guys to get one of you guys to give me a survival check if the other one is helping. And don't say what your modifiers are, just one of you choose. Whoever rolls first, I'm gonna take it, but it's with advantage. I'll take the I'll take the check. Okay. Do it, buddy. Yeah. With advantage. Survival. Gimme. Gimme, gimme, <laughs> Okay. So I'm gonna act mm, you kinda get low to the ground, you know. You look for footprints here or there, or what you think are footprints. Um, and you start, you're like, that way. You start heading all in the right. direction. Um, you guys, as all of you start heading in the direction, maybe like 20 minutes go by. It, you guys don't, you guys aren't really let out to, you know, thinner trees, which is a good sign. However, something feels off. The ground beneath you starts to feel harder, like stone. The mm. trees around you, most of them covered in moss and stuff like that, starts to look a bit gray. Hmm. Is oh. this the forest? Oh, it's dense too. It's still dense. But instead of it being, you know, like dark browns browns and vibrant greens all around everything looks a bit more gray hmm. oh. did we walk into the same is this the same force as the one you know like an hour ago i yes. swear to god if we're in the fey well i'm gonna burn everything down Zan, <laughs> no, I, trees like I'm rocks so that's why they're gray zan i need you to give me a uh a dexterity check because you're wearing heavy armor right Medium. Medium? Alright. Uh, I need everyone wearing medium armor to give me a dex check. Check or okay. save? Safe. Medium Sorry. armor Safe. only? Yeah. I have oh, leather okay. armor. Is that... No, that's light. That's light. Okay. And I have disadvantage and advantage. So, so even straight roll. Yep. Okay. Um, you guys, as you guys are walking, some of the vines, uh, or what looks like kind of grayer vines, kind of Clang on to, you know, bits of your armor, but as you kind of like shake yourself free, as it, you know, it doesn't catch you or, or make you fall or anything, as you kind of shake yourself free, you notice something different. It snaps, and not like fine snapping, but I mean, it just breaks off, like it's like a pencil, like it's brittle, uh, and as mm. it falls to the ground, it shatters into. Definitely more brittle like things. Hey guys, I've seen a lot of dead dead things where I come from and like this this looks like a dead thing. No, I'm with you. It doesn't this look is... the, the, when you look at the vines and the trees, it doesn't look dead. They look like they've had you know, the, the leaves and stuff like that. They look like it's leaves. And it looks like there's a bit of color to them, but a lot of it's have a lot of it has turned grey. For some reason, and not only that, it snaps off and breaks like a. Would I know of a plant that's supposed to be gray? Give me a, a nature check. Oh yeah, so good. No. <laughs> uh, <laughs> no, you do not. I mean, Rowan, you're a bird. Do you know about gray trees? Oh God, that's louder than that dog. I I didn't hear you. You're muted. It's... Can I make a history check? <laughs> or a nature check? It's a nature check. <laughs> <laughs> I knew Ru um, Rowan was the one to ask. I mean, yeah, they're gray trees. That's actually... You heard of Sierra having gray barked trees called ironwood trees that are used, you know, for very, uh, like magic heavy and dense building purposes and stuff like that it's their export you've heard it and seen it yourself so but uh the way those vines broke and things like that i mean it could be sick it could be just coated in like maybe some kind of fungus from what you can guess but you're not sure 
You could take Wait, a closer are look. Trees. Okay. Okay. Or, or it's disease. Huh. Maybe right. it's something because we're on harder ground. Mm. <laughs> oh no, it doesn't look right to me. No. Be Oscar, careful. Eat one. No. Uh, don't eat one. I already had it halfway to my mouth. It. Oh, okay. <laughs> look over, and he's already gotten his mouth. Like put, his his jaws like already open. He's like, and he kind of takes put your, it out. Put your hand into it. Make your hand eat it. Uh, Oscar, but you touch it, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, touch it. There's no. It doesn't. It feels a bit like powdery. But you, w the one thing you notice is the inside is the same color, and it feels huh. hard. It doesn't feel like it's a alive and like pliable and bendable. It almost feels like brittle stone. This is this is real weird, guys. Look, it's same color inside. Hmm. I'm gonna Let's sniff it. Do I smell yeah. anything from it? it? Smells kind of like dust a bit. Um, mm -hmm. it's like a faint. Uh, you could give me. Actually, you don't. You don't need to. You. you it. It smells kind of like. Uh, yeah, like dust. Like milled stone kind of dust yeah, it smells like rocks I don't know of any plants that smell like that do you think of burnt down like this is like charcoal it's probably just a stone vine you know a stone vine uh... they exist right I assume so probably if there's dragons there's clearly plants made of stone too so a yes. rock bush rock yeah bush. exactly let's just keep going further Yep. Okay. I mean, isn't there birds called rocks? Rock birds? Yes. So, yeah. Oh, so this is a rock forest. Ah. Yeah. Obviously. Beware for the rock birds. Okay. So, mm. as you guys continue forward, deeper into this kind of gray stated area in this forest, you come across something unsettling when the lights start to dim around you because the sun is setting it is what looks like a goblin kill it but it's is it a kid it's unmoving <laughs> no it's uh -oh. it's unmoving <laughs> it's faced away from you um or it its body is facing you but its head is tilted back almost as if it was looking back at something and it looks like it was in mid sprint when it it's not moving what do you guys think happened to that is it if it looked like it's solid stone mm, yeah like like the vines hey michelle didn't you tell me your friend died like this yeah that was that was through magic well, we're in a magical forest. Yeah. Yeah, but the magic that we had was a deck of cards that we used to have a while ago. Maybe the forest has the cards now. <laughs> Never mind. I try but you'd have to pull the card to see it. How does it... I don't know. Well, maybe he just fell and rolled in the dust, and that's why he's gray. Okay, well, are there any plants or creatures that can turn things to stone? Is it There's... a Medusa? Yeah. What's a Mahusa? Medusa. Snake Medusa. Oh, one of those. Sounds yeah. like a drink. I mean, unfortunately, it, it is not a delicious cocktail. It is a lady with snake hair that yeah. if you look at her, you become stone. Can we just ask her nicely not to look at us? That's, no. It doesn't matter. If she, we can't look at her. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well. So, so she's if you like, see one, don't. So she's like so ugly that you turn to stone when you see her? No, she just has a power that turns you into stone, I think. It's the same thing with basilisks. Do you know what those are? No, oh, I can't even pronounce what you just said. <laughs> Bass. Bass. And that's as much as I know. I don't know if it's Kalisk or Salisk. I don't know. Basketless. 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 Right, Basketless. Keep... Everyone keep an eye or don't keep an eye out for these things. For the basket list and the Medusa. The basket list and the Medusa. Medusa. 
Mad Zeus. Mad I don't know, guys. The Mad My Pooper. god, you guys are terrible at common. Um. I'm gonna walk over to that goblin and flip him over with my foot. Is he on the ground? Oh, oh, oh he was. The, the I thought he was on the ground. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. he's not. He's not like on his side. It was like mid run. His feet was. Oh, like okay. Partial, like it's keeping him upright still as he looks like he's a mid run. Oh, okay. I thought he was lying. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> hmm. well, well, we should probably follow. just put him to rest. And now that you noticed, there's no creatures around here. The sounds of bird has birds have kind of dissipated around the area of oh, the single bird has, yes that's what i was laughing at no, just picturing kind of. one giant bird that we've been hearing this whole nope. time besides though i couldn't make that happen right. but no i'm gonna walk over that goblin <sighs> pete huh i'm gonna walk over that goblin get some ash from my bag draw the symbol of helm on him bless him and then smash the statue okay is this a traditional method in the helm religion you take yeah you... Well, if his body is still here so i'm assuming he's trapped on this plane you take your war pick, him to rest you know? i mean he's a statue zan he's dead smash he's him dead now and hey guys falls apart. guys shh, listen and just hear <laughs> nothingness <laughs> <laughs> always a good time things. for SpongeBob thing first off i think it's probably best for us to keep quiet in here and second of all we should probably keep an ear out if we hear anything yeah. You want to stay stealthy then? I'd say so. You could probably hear quite a bit. Everyone squat. Let's go. I mean, if if that thing uh, turned into stone because he saw it, maybe we could uh, find a trail nearby from it. I mean, these trees are thick. It can't be too far away. Mm. Okay, so we'll stay quiet and we'll keep looking. Yep. All right. Oh yeah. Oh. <laughs> Well, uh, it is getting pretty dark, by the way, at this point. You want to just set up camp then? That's what I there's, there's, wanted to say before. There's I not a lot of light right now, and God keeps pestering me, saying I'm tired and need some rest. No, I'm not. I'm not saying you guys are tired. I'm saying, Helm, <laughs> Helm, please. I'm saying it's dark, and if you guys want to stealth around, just let me know. But it's dark. I, th I'd say Helm knows best. Yeah, come on. Yeah. Man, I guess. Let's give me a minute, and I'll co-cast the bubble. Alright, sounds good. Okay. Take a minute, cast Lehman's Tiny Hut, make it look gray, okay. and allow everyone in. Alright. Um... Are we doing watch at all? Oh yeah, so Aggie, you haven't seen this before, but this is like a protection bubble. Basically, you can come in here, you can sleep. We can look out. They can't look in. I've seen something like this before. It was the doorknob. It opened up into like a nice home. The door. Kind of, but this is just a like a bubble, like a That's big giant doorknob. circle. Doors. Yeah, it's not as classy as the doorknob. <laughs> but it'll do. Wow. Thank you. Okay. Guess we can't compare to your old friends, Aggie. No, you guys are here. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that's so sad. Damn it, Victor. I. It's not my fault he took that They're in a dark healthy. direction. Everyone just rest up. Yeah, Aggie, I, I got a question for you. Yeah. Mind if we just talk in private? Sure. You guys stay here. I'm going to talk with my friend Max. <laughs> Who? Max Danger. Oh, right. <laughs> okay. So, Michelle and Agrag, you guys kind of walk a bit away from the rest of him in the bubble, right? So, yeah. You're not with your friends anymore, right? No. How do you deal with that? How do you deal with the loss of allies? I've been kind of struggling recently. Well, my friend sort of became a purpose in my life. Uh, so losing them, you, you lost a lot of purpose. And I've been there before, you know, purposeless. You drink and you fight and you get into gambling a little bit. And you try to connect with your roots and find some sort of culture. You always make new friends. 
I guess, but like... And those I... friends that we had before, they imprint on you. They do. You carry a little bit of them with you, always. It's true. Thank you. Hey. I'm your friend. And, uh, I hope I can help you out so. No problem. Um, might I have some ale and head back? <laughs> yeah, man, let's do it! Okay, so Agronac, as you place your, uh, pocket uh hole onto portable the ground hole. the portable hole onto the ground it's hard to find a smooth surface here um both of you guys notice something as the portable hole goes down a kind of like a <clears throat> give me one second you guys hear As when you turn, you guys see a boulder that's just kind of rolled up around you. Oh, nah. I don't like this. Let's... I ain't having that. Can I punch the boulder? Yes, go ahead. Like, straight punch to that boulder. Just, like, give it a punch? Yeah. Punch the boulder. Okay, do your damage. I should set your thing so it automatically does damage. Uh, um, you punch the boulder and it like chips a bit, but it doesn't react. Aggie, uh, let's get out of here, and I cast invisibility on both of us. Yeah. Okay, let's go. <laughs> and you guys kind of book it back. <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right. So. You guys get back to your little tent, a hut bubble thing. A boulder just walked towards us. Yikes. Yeah, it's doing its own thing. Go to sleep. Did you talk to it? And the one thing you know, nah. it. Rowan is the first to notice. Moments after Michelle and Agronac come back, Rowan, you hear it. You hear something. It sounds like, again, like, and as Michelle and Agronac are finishing the sentence, a boulder kind of rolls up around the circle. Okay, whatever this is that's going on, I say we leave. It's, by the way, it's pitch black right now. I still we say we leave. leave. And then another. We gotta get the money one. And then you guys see two more boulders. Yeah, I don't Roll think up. it's safe here at night. Does anyone speak boulder? I speak puddle. I can I try. Puddle? I speak exploding boulder. And then mm. six more appear. Does anyone speak stone giant and dialect at this point you guys can see surrounding your liam and tiny hut are nine of these and you could see in the darkness there's more kind of rolling up what is going on guys i'm gonna look at one boulder that's nearby and just try and use my mind speak to speak and say hey what's your deal Good idea. Is if your mind it's... speak magical? Um, I don't know. It's a class feature. It's, so it's telepathic, so it would have to be magical. Which means no magic can pass through Levin's tiny hut. Yep. That's right. Stick your head Which out. Which is. Yeah, I'll stick Did like I... my head just slightly out and think. Do it again. Okay. Uh, and if they speak any language, they will understand what I say. Yep. Whoa, that's As cool. you imprint your idea, basically. Uh, um, into this boulder the response in your mind right because it could do that it's actually only one way oh it's only one so, way yeah. damn no you mean it's two ways no <laughs> um, it actually like uncurls and you could see what looks like something like this uh, 
Oh, wait. Oh. There we go. Big Rocky boy. Yeah. Yeah. Big Rocky boy. Yeah. When you have Rocco. Curls, I, just, I pull out my rapier. Yeah, I'm these, just like, oh god, I'm ready. These things are, you know, they're they're stumpy looking. They're but they're large. You know, they're not large creatures, but they're as big as Oscar would be probably each one. Oscar, they're like tiny, cute ewes made of rock. Um. Does and he? Now you can friends. see more and more of them kind of appear. Do they um, appear angry? Uh, it's hard to tell expression on the Stone face. Stone face, but, but you, you might can, say. As it as it like kind of like. Uh, as it speaks, it sounds like rocks kind of grinding up together yeah. and like cracking a bit. But you could give me an insight check. All right. Um. Also, no one appreciated my great joke about how they look stone faced, but whatever. I, I, I did. <laughs> I Thank you. Thing. Thank you. Uh, you're not sure what this thing is trying to. It does. You're not sure if it's angry or whatnot. Uh, Could um. Do you guys want me to um, speak to it in my with my head again? Well, what Just, did it say? It, you said I have it, no idea. Oh. Just tell, tell it we mean no harm. I'll look at it, at it again. Pop my head out. So uh, we mean we mean no uh, no harm. We're just like walking through and sleeping, and then walking more. As it responds again, which you don't understand, <laughs> uh, from the ground. By the way, Liam and Tiny Liam and Tiny Hut is a bubble that appears around the ground, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yes. It says 10 foot radius. But it's not a floor. It doesn't penetrate. I, it doesn't, I, I, I feel like it wouldn't penetrate. Okay. It's like if, if it's dug it's like around the edges, it would fill in. But if it's from underneath completely, I feel like it wouldn't penetrate. Um, so, from, you guys see the stone underneath the feet of yours. You know, like, you guys picked out a smooth enough spot that you guys could all lay in relatively comfortably. But you guys see it kind of bulge. And as you oh guys God. are starting to, like, realize you guys are being forced out of here. Of your own bubble and your safety protection. You see the uh, these boulders have kind of scooted a bit aside. Mm. And rising between some of them is a... Uh, rising from the earth between them is what looks like a humanoid figure she seems to have these kind of robes uh reddish a bit reddish in color the skin of hers it doesn't glisten or anything like that it feels it looks like it's kind of covered in dirt or dust her face looks like it's an amalgamation of rocks that kind of give the features of a humanoid. And pulling out of the ground as she stands up is a massive stone maul that she just kind of wields easily with one hand. A stone what? Maul. Maul? Mm -hmm. Big giant hammer. Yep. Okay. It's the Mall of America. Yeah, it's as big as America. Did she... Okay, so does she look like those round little guys, or she's kind of different? No, she's different. She's humanoid in form. Oh, well, more humanoid than them. She's large, too. She's oh. like she's like maybe two, three times larger than they are. She's thick. Is she thick? <laughs> she dummy. Most importantly. She is, but you notice as her body comes she is. Up, out of the ground, she doesn't have legs. Oh? As hmm. it turns, Just the bottom booty? portion of her body turns and looks like kind of dust kicking up beneath her. Uh, I'm gonna stick my head out just a tiny bit again. And... Oh, that, you guys are—you guys have been forced out of the yeah. bubble. Oh, it, okay. Literally, the earth has molded beneath you and pushed you guys oh, out of the bubble. Yeah. Already. And, and then, so uh, she's in that like, case... "Why uh... do you enter my domain?" Hello, hail and well met. We are just passing through, and we mean no harm. We don't intend to stay. We just have to sleep, and we've been walking for a long time. So you decide to come into my realm? 
Uh, well, we just came into the forest. We didn't really realize it was a realm of anyone's. No signs posted or anything. So. Right. Yeah, we just kind of followed a nothing trail that wasn't really a trail. Mm -hmm. But, I mean, I love what you've done with it. It looks great. The trees, the gray, we love it, but we're, we're just passing through. We mean no disrespect. The rocky, dusty smell really reminds me of home. Yeah. Big fan I, of that. I whispered to Zan, so it is all rocks. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll be on our way in the morning. Or we can leave now. I mean, it's quite, kind of dangerous. We don't want to destroy anything in, in, you know, when it's dark out. Yeah. You can't see. Yeah, we're, we're definitely uh, going to be less hazardous to everyone if we are just sleeping and then we can leave. When it's light. So you came into the forest and then into my realm so you can rest and then destroy. As no, you said. no, that's not what I said. It's I like this person can't hear us. Uh, we. I'm going to think towards her uh, using my mind speak. We don't mean destroy. We mean sleep and leave. Because it covers translation errors. <laughs> yes. Okay. Yeah, that actually does. Nice. We will leave now. You are unwelcome in these trying times. Well, with that attitude, yeah, of course we're unwelcome. <laughs> well... Trying times. This is our way in. Do you need yeah. help? You got a problem? Because when the times get trying, so do I. <laughs> yes. That is our motto. Absolutely. Hey, Scarfis, nice to meet you. <laughs> yeah, that is what we always say here in our little group. Give me... God damn it. Give me a persuasion check from one of you two, Michelle or Agronach. Nice. Oh, or Victor, I guess. I did one. That's I've fine. been doing a lot of yeah. talking. Yeah, that's... Nope. yeah, Victor, you were doing a lot of talking. It's fine. I mean, with that line, I can't believe you didn't get better than a five. <laughs> Translation error. Translation error. She's just like, what the fuck does that mean? Trying? He, he means destroy. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to destroy. The forest has birthed something foul. Well... We, huh? And you all come here for what? Just to leave? No, we had a reason to be here that I mysteriously can't remember the period of time where we were discussing why we came to the forest, but, um. I mean, something foul sounds like a reason we could take care of. Or something foul. You're willing to throw away your lives. No, we would beat it. Yeah, yeah, we could do that. Yep. You find me and my kin intimidating. No. <laughs> Did yeah. you say that? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, what she means is that we are very brave warriors who are not afraid of anything i need sam to give me a wisdom save <laughs> 15 15 uh as the dao as you say no <laughs> and just kind of scoff at her the dao smacks the ground next to her with the maul she has and you could you see what looks like the the earth around you, the stone, like the dust from it kicks up around you, Zan, as it kind of climbs up quickly around you. You feel yourself start to stiffen. Oh, that's all right. You have you made your point. <laughs> you better get scared real quick. There, so. Yeah, we're pretty scared, Zan especially. Uh, yes. Sure. Yes. 
She is. Look, Look at her. that She's scared turned look. as stiff as a board. Yeah, out of fear. <laughs> Will you leave now? <clears throat> Will yes. you leave now? Uh, I sure, guess. I which mean... way's that foul thing? Yeah. Yeah, we can go take care of that, and then we'll leave. And if we die horribly, then we're still dead. And, and we, gone. we left them too. It's a win-win for you. Yep. Give me another persuasion check. Okay. That's a disadvantage, because I'm exhausting you. <laughs> mm. uh, I would have said with advantage, but with disadvantage, because you're exhausted, so it, it would have been a 19. Oh, okay. Because it would have been flat. She goes... If your lives mean nothing... And she points. Already. What direction is that? Um, I say out loud. <laughs> give me a second. I'm thinking right of where the sun rises. So north. Okay. North. Okay. If you find well. me frightening. Not going to like what you find there. Yeah, no. so frightening. My domain. Okay, we'll walk over to Zan and try and help her unstick her feet and start walking off. Okay, Zan, um, can you just give me one more wisdom save? Uh oh. <laughs> oh. Uh, Zan. Your legs have turned to stone. Oh no. <laughs> What's my leg AC then? Like 30? <laughs> no, no, it would, I think your natural AC for your legs would be, I think, 16. Because I think that's what stone skin does. But you cannot move. Your movement speed is zero. Uh, Alright, someone tie me to Victoria. Ma'am, your Victoria's highness, uh, do you think you could? undo the stone so she can leave you did want us to leave and it's very hard for her to leave if she can't walk and you are headed north yes give me a persuasion check with advantage because uh oh well i mean uh, it's fine i'll just roll again i guess <laughs> I'm yeah. extremely persuasive. And your goal is to... What again? Well, again... In all honesty, our goal is to find riches. That is what we want to do. Danger <coughs> usually... Thing. Danger usually means there's riches. And... That's what we do. Yes. Sam? Mm-hmm. Uh... Thou looks at you, Thou looks at everyone else. You might, you will find no riches where you're going, but you will find That's death. That's hard to believe. <laughs> if you want to walk to your death with your friend, so be it. Now leave. As she starts to fade into the grounds and you feel your legs start to turn back cool so like when we come back can i take her hammer after we kill her or... <laughs> are you are you Shut saying up. this i'm whispering this to victor okay Shut my up. most trusted companion <laughs> sam thank you for saying that i'm your trusted companion but please shut up <laughs> Stomp on her foot and almost crack a toe off. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the boulders are literally like following behind you as you guys are starting to walk north. Um, Alrighty. And through the darkness, with you know Zan, I'm guessing your shield is lit aflame, right? 
uh, with casting that, light as well. Yeah, with your guys' magical S way of lighting the area, you guys proceed further north until the forest itself starts to return to color. Yay. Alrighty. How do we see the color if it's dark? Because you guys have sources of light. Oh. Like the shield that Zan oh, has. Oh, yes, I see. Okay. So. Such like that. Agronac. You led us towards there. Which direction did you take? You have no idea because your low your roll was so low. East. Can... East. East. Okay. So we're oh, headed shit. northeast from where our horses are. Okay. Just to be yep. safe. Do you guys mind if I take a crack at it? Take what a crack say? at what? You broke take up. A... Oh, do you mind if I take a crack at it and read the moss? Read the moss? Yeah, yeah I told you I have survival skills. Yeah, we can read okay. the moss. I yeah. thought you were kidding when you said No, read the I was moss. a bumblebee back in the day. <laughs> Do crows eat bumblebees? He wishes. Alright. <laughs> I've eaten quite a few bumblebees in oh, my oh. day. Come Go read the I'm, moss, yes. Like, yes. Yeah, I'm gonna go read the moss. By the way, it's, okay. it's like pitch dark. The sounds of the the forest have amplified because it is dark. Uh, Anyone want to help me read the moss, or am I doing the solo? As it looks like, I'll help you read the moss. I don't Thank know what help you. reads the moss means. I've read cave moss before, but yeah, not tree moss. Yeah, I don't really know anything about moss. Okay. I can't moss. read. Period. So then, <laughs> as you, as you, you know, as you're trying to read the moss, it's, you know, you, you're used to. Like, your training was moss grows in the direction of civilization. <laughs> you look at it, and you look at the moss on the tree, and you realize the whole tree is covered in moss. <laughs> so you look all around the whole tree, and you're like... Find anything in the tree? Yep, definitely. Um, the opposite direction of Agronax. Sorry, buddy. <laughs> mm. okay. Alrighty. Oh, I'm the glad we didn't. Uh... The boulders aren't following you, guys. By the way. Oh. Glad so... those uh, natives told us uh, where something terrible was, because otherwise we'd be stumbling around here for a long time. We should Foster always keep an eye. Rocks if, if, if going got worse. <laughs> they were literally yeah. out of your food, so. Yeah. Yep, I love the taste of granite. <laughs> oh boy. It'd be organic, so you know. Alright, let's keep going. <laughs> your hand would like it. Oh yeah, your hand would like it. Maybe. I mean it mostly just likes meat, but maybe. That's rock meat. Does your hand I fed it a gold coin the other night? Excuse me? Oh. Wait. Wait. Oh yeah. But... I never met, introduced you, Agri Agronac. Uh, this is Mouth Hand, and Mouth Hand, this is Agronac. Oscar. Mouth Hand. As you show your hand to Agronac, Agronac, you notice something drastically a, a bit different from Oscar's hand. But Oscar's hand now, and the rest of you too. Um, the uh, area around the mouth has definitely started to look like it's cracked and hardened. A bit. Damn, Oscar moisturized. Is it, is it yeah. dying? And it looks gray too. Not like stone, but it looks a bit colorless. Like his, his it... skin color isn't there. Have you fed it recently? I mean, I haven't. Hey, can I have some rations? I got some jerky. Yeah. Yeah, perfect. Does I'll your... start feeding it jerky while I'm talking. Does your hand feel hungry? Can you... Do you feel your hand's hunger? I mean, mostly it just feels like a hand. I mean, occasionally I'll want to do something, but yeah, it's usually just a hand. Okay. I mean, you don't feel like your hand wants to sign autographs while you're walking around normally, right? Yeah, do. usually. Oh. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> So, right. didn't your, um, didn't, wasn't 
you're the one who wanted to go to this forest, right? Oscar? I mean, yeah. Yeah, when we were looking at that map uh, back with those families and mocks, I... I think something, my hand might have been drawing me here, but I haven't noticed anything since we got here. Not like it's been, you know, pulling me in a direction. Okay. Uh, um, it's not, it's not biting any more than usual. It looks a little nasty around the edges, but I mean, Zan lit us on fire like a week ago, so. Yeah, could be that. I, I see cleansed that. you as a difference. Maybe get Maybe some Maybe they didn't like the cleansing. Oh. Can <laughs> I borrow sure? some of your Vaseline, Victor? <laughs> sure. <laughs> I'm gonna try and moisturize the... Uh, you gotta moisturize. The, you know. Especially when you're on the road. It feels... hardened. That area. Oscar. Not just dry. No, not just dry. Was it from the stone people? I don't see why. Maybe it's finally just adapting to your dwarven uh, body. <laughs> yes, made of pure stone, the dwarves. It's rock hard like me. It's <laughs> <laughs> terrible. Alright, I think we should uh, keep going before those guys come back. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Are we going to push through the night or take a nap? Ah, uh, well, we clearly can't take a nap, so... We better push through the night. Maybe just even an hour forward, so they're not thinking we're in their land still. Yeah, yeah okay. So you guys want to go at least an hour more before you take a nap? Or you guys yeah. sleep, yeah. right? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. You guys kind of trudge on into the darkness. You guys feel like there are eyes on you. through As you guys are walking through this dense jungle. The... I, I just wave to my fans who are watching. Keep as much <laughs> light out as you can so we can always see. Yeah. Yeah. As uh, you guys are just keeping all an eye out, Rowan, this kind of reminds you of what it kind of feels like to live in the wilderness, especially if you don't have a home and you were lost somewhere. Yeah, it feels normal. Yeah. I feel at home here. Well, um, that's good. Can't fly away if there's danger, though. Wait, I mean, no, you still can. can. No, yeah, Rowan can. <laughs> and, but nothing bothers you guys. And you guys find what looks like a small, like, uh, uh, open and off area with the trees uh, that have uh, grown significantly around you. Okay, just give me a moment. I'll cast the Lehman's Tiny Hut. Okay, so Michelle, you start casting Lehman's Tiny Hut? When I'm it, gonna keep in. Oh, never mind. When it concludes, I need you to roll me. Uh, I need you to roll me a d hundred. Right, Michelle, can you roll me a d hundred? <laughs> <laughs> Okay. <clears throat> the spell seems to take form as the bubble appears. And yeah. Everything seems good. So you guys want to go find wherever that sickness shit is and kill it? Yeah. And then go back and kill that stone girl so I can have her hammer? I don't think yeah. we need to um, kill her. Mm. It seemed like... Let's do it. Why? She's clearly the one that turned that goblin to stone. He didn't deserve it. Uh, I mean, the cop, they kind of do. Okay, they, they, yeah. you're supposed to be on my side here, man. Goblins are nasty things. She tried That's to turn racist. me to stone just because she didn't like my attitude. You, you're you quite sassy. Yeah. Oh, sorry. My, I, I, my bad. Oh, that sassy child over there. Let's murder them because okay. they're sassy. Zan. Okay, no, 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 I'm just going with Michelle's reasoning here. Zan. But they're goblins. They're pests. They're rats. All right. That is the pretty goblins all deserve to die, but Zan oh. didn't deserve to be turned to stone either. Okay. This conversation okay. has gotten yep. wildly racist. Yes. <laughs> Everyone just count to ten, take a deep breath. Michelle, uh, just letting you yep. know, your Lehman Sign Cut, one of the things you need for it is a pin, right? Like a like a pitten that you put into the ground. 
Just look at the material components. I just want to know. If I'm okay, well, uh, we always have. Uh, who has a bunch of the I'll do climbing it. gear? I mean, don't we all? No, uh, I just want to know. Yeah. It's tiny a small hut. crystal bead. Yeah. Uh, it's just a small crystal bead. Correct. Oh, okay. Got it. Yeah. <clears throat> Nothing's I imagine consumed. you just have the nice. bead itself and you just draw the circle. Okay. Right. So it could be kind of wavy around the edges because you, your hands I, and stuff. I steady. always thought it's like that's where the center of the, the hut is and it just kind of emanates around it. But you Not guys. Not the case. Mm. Okay. Well, we're uh, setting up the hut. I'm gonna keep an eye out, and if I see any of those things that had Good eyes over. on us, oh, the eyes. no, the eyes like the animals. Yeah, I'm gonna try and lightning lure one. Okay. I'm gonna start polishing the, like uh, the blunt side of my yeah. weapon. <laughs> okay. You start polishing the blunt side of your weapon. Oh yeah. Okay, because it is it, your 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 war pick, right? Yep. Okay. We're uh, smashing rocks. Anyone else? Smashing rocks. I think I'd like to sleep. Okay. I gotta get my yeah, just, rest. I'll bed down in a minute. I'm just trying to catch something from my hand. Okay, Rowan, Agronac. Uh, I'll sleep. Uh, yeah, I'll probably go to sleep. So everyone's just going to, to, to bed, bed. All right. So Oscar, stay up just a little bit longer as you're just mm. keeping an eye out on the things moving along the shadows outside. Uh, Zan... Yeah. Did you cover up your shield at all? So is it dark or no? Right now, I, well, I guess when I'm going to sleep, I'll put like a tarp over it or something. Okay. Like a the, the inside of the dome is opaque. They can't see in, so no light goes through. Sounds legit to me. Okay. It's a fun spell. So, <laughs> Oscar, I need you to give me a perception check in the darkness. Okay. Because you're just keeping an eye out. With perception, I'm amazing at. Okay. Oh, that was very unexpected. <laughs> you, as you're looking around, you hear small kind of branches snap around you. And then uh. the something darts by you as it smacks, attempts to smack you twice. That is a. Yeah. 16 to hit, and then that yep, is that hits. 17 to hit. Both hit. Okay. Uh, uh, where is it? I'm just gonna do this. Okay. You take 16 points. Uh, oh. it's it's two types, so it's it's eight points of bludgeoning damage, eight points of piercing damage. Already. <clears throat> um. It's and something's... lightning lure goes off. Yep, and your lightning lure goes off, and it has to make a strength check, right? Save. Uh, strength save DC fourteen. It saves, and you you feel your lure connect, and from the magic, That's a big one. Uh, from the magic, you could see the area light up, but what you see is just kind of a like a a blur of like a black figure even though it's clear while the the lure connects for that moment when you pull it back the lure snaps and this kind of fuzzy figure dissipates uh into the darkness and darts off i wanted to eat you and then again something darts close by it is a that is a 20 to hit you and then a yep. 21 to hit you yep it is a six bludgeoning and seven piercing. Okay, six plus seven. Okay. And then I want to try and grapple this for, as it's running away if I can. You know what? I'll get. I'll give you the grapple. Go ahead. Okay, and I have disadvantage because I'm. Still doing that. Okay. Uh, as you kind of lunge at it, as it <clears throat> yeah. 
you get over here. You actually realize it's farther than you thought. It whatever hit you came from it, but it reached further than you thought. The area that it, it's around is blurred. And as you kind of die for it, you realize you're about five feet short from this thing. Hmm. And again, it darts off. I'm... I'm gonna just shout to... Uh, oh no, I moved it! And rage. Okay. Does that wake any of us up? my internal instinct <laughs> you guys Wounds. can see out to where oscar Wounds. is and at this point putting my punching gauntlet on you guys see two uh you guys were oscar you would kind of see two shimmers come close and dart at you keep their distance the natural 20 for one and then a 16 yep. for uh not 16 uh that is 12 22. Yep. And then that is a 12 to hit the other one, and then it's oh, a that misses. 16 to hit for the. That monster. hits. Okay. So three hits. Yep. One being a natural 20, so that's six. Uh, God damn it, that's a lot of. Six, six, 12 points of bludgeoning. Okay. Four, eight points of piercing. That's the first hit. Okay. So, Seven points of bludgeoning, six points of piercing for the second hit. And then for the last hit, ten points of bludgeoning and seven points of piercing. As these things, you guys that are waking up to Oscar kind of screaming outside, uh, would see these kind of shimmers dart cl closer to Oscar in the dark. Something lashes out and smacks Oscar. And then as Oscar tries... Are you going to try to retaliate in any way, I'm guessing? Yeah, I'm going to try and grapple it again. Yeah, as you go to grapple it again, you realize you're five feet short. You you take that like step to grapple something right next to you, where you think it, they would be from the distance, only to find out they're further. They're keeping their distance. Their reach is definitely further than yours, and they don't dart off into the woods. Can't we just go to bed, Oscar? <laughs> trying to feed my hand. <laughs> What are you doing? Well, well, these some of these things are like stabbing me a bit, and that's kind of stupid. But <sighs> I'm trying to feed my hand, and it was fresh meat, and I thought that'd work. Just get Just in stand. here. They can't get us in here. But the poor thing's hungry. I I walk out towards Oscar. Let's get your fucking thing of meat. Go to bed. Just give it some jerky or something. Zan, you now can't it... see anything right now. I have my shield. Oh, so you, you uncovered it. Okay, so it's I see all. It's bright, you know, it's it's light around you guys now. We're going for a midnight snack. You guys go back to bed. Hmm. Alright. Something darts out uh from the nearby behind the nearby tree again. It closes the distance and goes into attack Oscar. It is right. one to attack Oscar, which is twelve to hit. And then a uh, nine to hit. Missed both times. Yep. Cool. I'm going to grab my holy symbol and uh, orders demand. Okay. And I'm going to yell. Come out. Okay. That's all. You just yell at it to come out? Yeah. Got to feed the hand. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, what a good shit. friend. What, what, what's it say? <laughs> Uh, wisdom. Wisdom. Well, that is a uh, nineteen. Uh, that's a save. Yeah. Okay. Oscar, my magic's not working. What do you want to do? I'm gonna try and lunge forward and get close enough to the thing, since apparently it has reach, and try and grapple it. Okay. Uh, as it dashes towards you. I'll, I'll let you do a grapple check with disadvantage, okay? Oh, okay, well, I'm raging, so it's yeah. just normal. That normal, yeah. So it would be... What is that smell? Is that something burning? I don't think it's in our apartment. Maybe someone next door? That's a strong burning smell, though. Yeah. You should check that out. It's not from our apartment. We would see smoke with something like this. Yeah. We'll check out soon. 
It could be. We'll check. It. Oh my god. <laughs> well, I mean, twice there's a woman who lives, like kitty corner from us, who just left her oven on and then locked herself out of her own apartment. Oh my so. God. Yeah. Uh, All right. So it is a thirteen to hit. I mean, twenty-three to hit. I mean, and then a twenty to hit. I'll investigate okay. the smell. Uh, yeah, okay. both those hit. Uh, it was a twenty-three to grapple it. Okay, 23 to grapple with. Uh, Zan, what are you doing to help, if anything? And uh... <sighs> What can I do to help? I'll just cast light on Oscar. Well, okay, so first of all, since you can't see exactly where it is, Oscar, since it blurs the area, <laughs> oh, Okay. it's double disadvantage. Cause... Can you just roll okay. a little more? Just to sure. Make sure. So that is a what? seven for bludgeoning what? and then eight for piercing. Okay. Okay. I'll cast light on Oscar and then warning bond on Oscar. Okay. Uh, it fails as you lunge at it and you manage to like grab onto something in the blurriness. And when you do, um... there you go, Oscar. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, you have a grapple, so it takes three points of damage, right? Uh, yes, it takes three points of damage. When it takes the damage, the blur kind of stops, and you see what looks like a, uh, what looks like a, it's like a six-legged panther, almost. Oh. It has these kind of oh, like man. tendrils coming off of its, uh, like, shoulder area, so it has eight appendages, technically. Now, uh, and at the end of these uh, tendrils, you see what looks like a row of spiked teeth-looking things. That must have been the thing that was hitting you with. Get over right. here, bushmeat! Can I run up on it while he's grappling yeah. it and just smack it with my hammer? Yeah. My warp pick hammer said. All right. I know what you guys can do. <laughs> oh my god! Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Hold it down. As, <laughs> as it's going to make an escape on its turn again, it fails. Uh, it fails? Well, Oscar, give me another athletics check real quick, as it's like struggling. Okay. This is so brutal. I know. Yeah, it definitely fails. I knew it would fail. As Oscar, wow. you, you guys, I'm going to say you guys beat the shit out of it. And go, yeah. It's like, I'm Oscar's gonna... holding it, like, down, like, the spikes are hurting it every turn. Zan's just, like, smacking it with the warping. <laughs> and Oscar, you're just, like, punching the shit out of it to, like, get it to stop moving. And eventually, it stops moving. Right. It took it took a lot longer than you thought. It just it just couldn't break out. We come back to camp an hour later. I, I am just a mess of cuts. <laughs> cuts, blood, and guts. Uh as you have successfully killed this thing, it's large and there's not enough room for it and you guys all to fit in Lehman's tiny hut. I'm gonna mm. wake up Michelle. Stick my head in the hut. Mm. Michelle. Mm. What? We're covered in blood. Can you clean us? Oh god, yeah, give I mean, me a second. I gotta heed, feed my hand first. We might well wait until after I do that. Can you I get my, it first? I get myself out of bed. I'll try. I open my eyes and just see them covered in blood. <laughs> <laughs> what are you two doing? And at, at their feet, you guys see... You would see a six-legged panther-looking thing. It looks what? like this. What the hell? Displacer what the hell is this? Yeah, it's a displacer. <laughs> Oh, it's like some weird six-legged cat that kind of is blurry. <laughs> and Peter, you two just I... decide to beat it up? I mean, I want to feed my hand. hand. But, oh my god, you guys are covered in blood. Yeah, oh, I'll clean you. I would like I to cut off the tails, Peter. Okay. Um, there's only one tail, but it has the two tendrils. Okay, I would like to cut off the tail. Okay, just the tail. And then try to skin it. All right. I'll try and help i guess i want i'll help with okay. bardic inspiration yeah right. buddy roll that bardic inspiration give me a survival check oh, <laughs> dang uh zen like that adrenaline's kind of got to you like you should be tired and sleepy but well, you're like you got this and you start like down the body you know like the whole deal and when you're finished you have a nice Pelt of a displacer beast. 
and you look at your body, and you're just clean. Oh, and cool. It's wet and soggy on the one side, you know. Yeah, that's fine. I'll uh, I'll try to dry it. Okay. I'm just gonna start sticking my hand on all the meat that's just kind of like over. as it's chomping away. It's literally taking chomps out of it. It's an awful sound of someone skinning an animal. And... <laughs> Come on, eat up. Um, Oscar, when you eat up, <laughs> as you say, uh, something weird happens. Your body starts to shimmer a bit. You're, not, you're practically glowing. Not not glowing, <laughs> but the light that kind of seems to hit you from Zan's shield, it, the outline that Oscar kind of has to the world against him, in a way, that makes him clearly visible, starts to blur. Similarly, the displacer beast. And then it disappears. <laughs> that was pretty cool. What happened? I, I don't know. He ate the thingy, and then he became the thingy, and he's not the thingy. What are you guys it's, talking is about? Is that what the thingy does? I, I guess I didn't so. fight the thingy. The thingy, I don't know. Oscar was having trouble hitting it. <laughs> So it must have been really weird, you know? I see, I see. It's Oscar, like a you know, mist cat. Yeah, yeah, it's like a mist cat. I, I bet oh. if you ate Victor, you'd be really good at acting. <laughs> what do you mean? For like, for like a couple seconds. <laughs> Victor is asleep, so, but hears his name and kind of wakes up a little bit, but then falls back asleep. Oh. We'll talk about this in the morning. Uh -huh. Just go back to bed. You're pretty cool, Hand. Also, throw the carcass away from here so you don't attract more What carcass? He ate everything. I'm eating, feeding bones and everything to the oh see, like, the whole leg being drug in. This thing the is second huge. leg, the third That's leg, insane. the ass yep. cheek. No, literally, like, it, it would take you a long time, Oscar, but do you stay I up stay and up feed the whole thing? I stay up the entire time. Just watching it. Okay. Uh, I need you guys to give me a con saves for the next day because you guys will be relatively tired if Oscar you are feeding the whole thing to it and the yeah. show staying up. Okay. Uh, Zan, you have a point of exhaustion. Oscar, you're fine. Michelle, you're fine. Uh, but Oscar, you don't get long rest. Neither does Michelle and Zan. If anything, you guys get a short rest. I'll say. Okay. 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 Well, Already. So, Oscar. Um, yeah. It, you you finish feeding the whole beast, other than the skin, the pelt of it. To... I just give him a slow cap, a slow clap after. That's actually yeah, that was, that was astonishing. Art. That was beautiful. I I didn't realize it could put all that away, but yeah, I didn't know how it fit the skull in there, but it just it just put need, the whole skull. If we need I to mean, kill someone, we know who to go to. Shit, yeah, hide the evidence. Hey, Michelle, can you toss <laughs> my pelt in your chest for now? Um, at this um, point, Oscar, yep. mm -hmm. I need to pull you aside. Oh, All right, cool. Bathroom break. As basically, Zan and Michelle are kind of packing up, you know, putting the pelt away, and you can mm -hmm. see the, the morning rays kind of start to glisten. You hear in your mind, um, delicious. And then I'll move you back. You're welcome. <laughs> um, at this point, Agonite Victor Rowan, you guys can start stirring or waking up or whatnot, because Victor, uh, I mean, uh, Michelle's kind of like, <sighs> yeah, making a, a lot of noise with Sam, putting stuff away pulling things out of chest to make rooms for it. You guys missed out. On? Oh my. On what? Uh, they woke me up, and I just see them covered in blood with this huge giant beast. Uh -huh. They skin it, and then Oscar's mouth ate the entire beast. This thing was like eight, eight feet long. It, it was pretty big. What? It ate the I... entire thing? Yeah. Well, I mean, it took a little bit. It's not How... that big of a mouth. Oh, did that fit inside your arm? Huh. 
That's a good question. Yeah. <laughs> we gotta get rid don't of that Don't see hand. anything. That's freaky. I don't like that. Well, I mean, apparently I get misty when I eat mist monsters, so it's helpful at least. None of yeah, that he, like, made sense shimmered. to me. What? He like, he, he became hard to see, like it was, like you know when I go invisible? It's kind of like that. You got mildly invisible. Yeah. Because mm, of the all I, all I had to do was feed it a weird cat. A weird cat. So that's what we've been doing all night. <sighs> I'm glad I slept through that. Should we head towards danger? I guess so. Yeah. Can someone tell me why we're in the forest? <laughs> Riches in danger. Okay, but like, you what's the real money. reason? What's the the core reason we're here? Oh, well, we're here to get money. From to whom? Pet, but... Dangerous stuff. From dangerous stuff. Have you not seen the correlation? Every time you don't go do dangerous stuff, they usually have good stuff there. You got a point. But and, usually uh, someone pays us first, or they ask us to do it first. Well, I mean, that potion guy said he'd pay us a lot if we brought him rare ingredients, and okay. I don't know if that skin counts, but we'll probably find something cool. Alright, I guess that's something. Let's go. Uh, okay, then. Okay. Headed north. You guys headed north? Mm -hmm. Okay. Who's leading? <laughs> Not me. Tusk again. I Aggie. will take the lead. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go, Aggie. All right, Aggie. Give me a survival. You check. can do this, Aggie. Not like last time. You know this. Not like last time. Yeah. Well, you guys no don't more, know. He led uh... you guys to a wrong location. Okay. How much? How much longer are we going to play today? Uh, probably not much longer. Because okay. it is tomorrow is Monday. Yes. Uh, so and it is already twelve o'clock for those of you guys are on that are on the East Coast. So Hi, East Coast friends. <laughs> um so, Agronac, you start leading the group through this dense forest. The animals mm. seem to be for some reason keeping a long larger radius distance away from you guys for some reason. Coffin might have to do with a lot of the blood that you guys spilled around you, but <laughs> uh, uh, whatever. Um, as you guys continue to travel north, the ground here stays the same. However, odd things are, uh, you notice slightly odd things. The Every once in a while, you see a tree that is completely like the doesn't have any foliage or leaves and it's completely gray i mean colorless there's nothing growing on it are we back where we came we got turned around aggie the ground doesn't seem to to you know be gray like last time you guys saw at night hmm I go touch the plant. Is it hard? You touch the plant? Yep. Okay. You touch the plant, like the tree, the bark of it. Yep. And when you do, you're, you go to l touch it, and the whole, like, a seam of the bark opens up. And you can see rows of teeth and then the void, like darkness in the back. <laughs> as you hey. as you try to pull your arm away, the whole tree kind of leans forward and tries to literally chomp on your hand. Since you are surprised. Uh okay, does uh does the eighteen hit you? Yes, it does. Okay. You take 
10 points of piercing damage and uh, yeah take 10 points of piercing damage as you pull your like you manage to pull your hand out it doesn't have you it didn't grasp you and your arms just kind of like scratch the hell up like the teeth have done a number on you oh Whoa. god uh, I hate the teeth, not get bitten by them. I pull up my shield and just try to walk back to the group. Yeah. Did that thing just try to eat your hand? Uh, yes. It is. Alright, Oscar. Ow. Teach him a lesson. Have your hand eat them. <laughs> eat that tree. Um. Okay. <laughs> gonna hold up my hand and just say eat it up hand and try and slap the tree okay when you get close to it with your hand the tree the seam kind of appears not where michelle's hand was but in a different place mm -hmm. where you could see the seams in the bark and when it opens up it doesn't look like it's gonna bite you actually it goes as you kind of keep your hand held close to it it just kind of like you know the teeth kind of move around a bit it's a nice tree, Michelle. What'd you do to piss it off? I didn't do anything. I went to go touch it to see if it felt like rock. No. Then it decided to bite me. I'll give it a really light pat on the side. Okay. Yeah. It feels like bark to, to you, Oscar. It's. Did you, like, step on its roots or something? This thing's pretty docile. Okay. We should just go. I... Right. I don't like that tree. You could see uh, the further north you have to go, you could see more of these trees in the distance kind of growing out of the ground. Did you say we have to get a lot of these teeth to get money? Yeah. Should we start chopping? Oh. Well, I mean, this seems like a friendly tree. I'd rather chop down an evil one. Friendly? It bit Michelle. Yeah. Well, yeah, and you pissed it off. Or well, maybe it I just likes you because you have teeth where teeth shouldn't be. Yeah. Okay. Can someone else try to tame this tree? I can't. Hmm. Tame it how? Like, so it agrees that it wants to be cut down so we can take its teeth? Well, no. I mean, if we're I... looking for wood, we can maybe find something fallen, maybe. Agronac. At this point, your hummingbird friend that's kind of been following you around, right? Yeah. It, it's been following close to you, but it needs a place to rest. As it goes to land on a branch, you could see another row of teeth kind of appear where it's about to land. And it goes to attack... Zip, don't land there. It goes to attack, zip, and then it misses. As the branch kind of curls up a bit to, like, snatch at it, it misses. So it kind of flies back around to where you are. I mean, I guess it doesn't like birds either. Rowan, don't get near it. Yeah, we should stay away from these trees unless we're planning to cut them down. Then, Oscar, just stick out your hand and we'll just cut it down. Oh, I mean, we don't even have a cart or something. It's not like we can take it with us. Oh, we're just taking the teeth. And just pull the teeth out. Yeah. Put them in the bag. I have a bunch of room in the bag right now. And worst comes to worst, if you need more room, I could just pull out these uh, ball bearings. I ended up leaving half at the house. Exactly. Start uh, swinging. What if I'm this... gonna try one last thing. If this, if it's just an animal or weird tree, I guess. But I'm gonna try and look at the tree and try and do my thought speak at it and just ask, "Hey, are you actually alive? Can you think?" You hear in it. You hear back in your mind. Oh. I hunger. And that's where we'll end it today. Oh my god. <laughs>
start chopping. Right. <laughs> yeah. I think we should um, leave. Oh, by the way, I need uh, Oscar you to make a wisdom save at that point. Alrighty. Because that's my best stat. Wisdom. I think it's your, yeah, it's your worst. <laughs> yeah. Which is great. <laughs> Oh. Huh. Okay. Um, Oscar as is Oscar joining the trees now. Oscar hears something, then he turns to you all with a bloodthirsty look on his face. Oh. Fuck. And this is where we'll end it. Uh, we'll be back <laughs> this coming Friday. <laughs> oh. As as the group deals with uh, all this and more. I'm Oscar Plant Fist, warrior for the trees. Yeah. Uh, yeah, Oscar <laughs> something by fist. By the trees. <laughs> Oscar Teeth Fist at this point. Teeth yeah. <laughs> He's just all teeth. All right. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed. We'll be back next week. Thank you guys for watching. We're, Bye. We're question roll. Bye. You. Follow us and Bye. like us on Twitter and whatnot. We love you. Yes. Bye. <laughs> okay. Well, oh, man. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Yeah. I like to imagine Oscar as a Pokemon and his final evolution is the tree. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Seems about right. I cannot wait until you guys figure out what the hell's fucking going on. Yeah. That would be nice. Be exciting. Oh, man. <laughs>